Sounds good, right? The person who works in IT USB confuses the heck out of you too. I get it. I get it. Darkens, do you want to do your uh, book thing now? I just wanted to get some ASMR. <laughs> Slow <laughs> ASMR. Red Company made this. Different opinions is rock. I forgot how loud this was. I have this like cut. Like the PS1 can output in very, very loud audio with the original RCA outputs. I have this on my mixer at minus 50 decibels right now. <laughs> it's effectively like minus 45, minus 50, but that's how loud the output is and clean. That's how clean it is. It's, it's why audio files will buy OG mono PS ones because of how good the CD player is in it. You like objectively bad games. So do I. Like Seven Saga. That game's a shit show. <laughs> Whew. That game is a hot, stinking mess. Most of your favorites are on the PS1, Paul Room. I wish this had analog support. Sadly, no. Doo 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 doo. Come on, let's hurry. That's all she says. So, oh, I, I just found accidental, whatever that is. I found accidental, whatever that is. Oh, and this is like a, a cafe or a bar. Okay. <laughs> What's up with those guys? <clears throat> Man. Okay. All right. So. Persona updates in February, man. Stay update. Yeah. Shots fired against themselves. Yeah. Pretty funny. You learned all your dating advice from Thousand Arms. Still single, wanted in 49 states. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a big issue that this game has. We don't have a goddamn clue what we're supposed to do. Not even a little bit. This is one of those games that wants you to just aimlessly wander a lot and hope f that you find where to go. Those are some of the most frustrating games you can play. Yes, Don Spooky. That's true. I mean, Sony designed it. They, 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 put, they put the buckaroos into it. The lady's waiting for you in front of her house. Okay. So we have to find some lady in a, in a house or in front of a house. Why is the camera doing that? I can't make it stop. Can I? Did it do that before? There's not an option for it. Okay. camera is just moving on its own and I don't want it to do that oh well I guess I guess hit the power button very funny 
Listen, we're gonna do everything we can to beat this game. That's what we do. Okay. All games did that shit? No, they did not. I promise you. <laughs> I play PS1 games on stream all the time. This is not a common issue. You wanna play Guardian Crusade? What's that? I don't know what that is. My mom keeps shouting something about Viagra. Yeah, well, there you go. His mom wants wants dad to get Viagra. Here we go. <laughs> Unique PS1 JRPG. Maybe I'm just used to playing RPGs where the camera isn't this fucked up. You know, I bet like platformers or 3D exploring games on PlayStation probably do this. I know Xenogears didn't do this. Um, the camera stayed locked where you had it. Lady with sexy lips. Yeah, we, we perceive everything in this game through the main character's lens. So that's the first fucking thing he sees. Like, okay, fair enough. My knife's gone crazy. I don't know what to do. Do something quickly. Okay. Press the X button to swing the sword and hit the knife. It'll quiet down after a couple hits. Okay. Watch closely and time your swings. Yeah, that's probably what it is, Metal. I never played those games, so I didn't experience it. I think that's why we had a different experience. Doo -doo -doo -doo. They decided to hide her sexy lips on her sprite. They did, didn't they? I mean, they, she might have art portrait. A lot of characters do in this. Holy hell. What? Fuck. <laughs> it keeps debating me. <laughs> that fucking thing kept debating me. <laughs> it was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what is this mini game? Apparently her chef knife got possessed and we had to calm down the spirit. my turn now okay my brother always says to listen to the voices of the spirits around you and you'll certainly understand their feelings okay why was that knife alive apparently in this world spirits inhabit the weapons and spirit blacksmiths use the affection of women to enhance the spirits of their weapons and everything about this game just sounds like a sexual euphemism and probably is by design. <laughs> what was that? I'll make sure she does that, so please calm down. Okay. What's that mice? What's what? The knife wants to be used to cook delicious food, not just to cut open the wrapper of a TV dinner. <laughs> whoa, whoa. I'm being attacked right now, okay? Hold the fuck on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this shit is going for me right now. Use a fork. Oh my goodness. Do 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 do. You always carry your big hammer and your pool goggles. Yeah, apparently according to this game, stranger, that's how you get dates. You carry your big hammer and your pool goggles around. <laughs> Please use it for cooking occasionally. Things have feelings too. Okay. 
Uh, okay, I'll do that. Thank you very much. And say hi to Giant Bill for me. Okay. <sighs> it was a good job. I'll go back home now. Don't stay out too late. Okay. So now... Now... We're gonna save the game. And maybe find a date to go on. I think. I think that's what you do in this game. You go on dates that are awkwardly voice acted. And from the one we've encountered so far, it was pretty weird. So I'm looking forward to more of these, if there are. I think there are. Save game. Dun 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 dun. Persona dates? I would not know. I would not know. All right, we're going to rotate on two slots here. All right. We will try to find... So here's like the part that's a little confusing. You basically just seemingly just aimlessly wander looking for a lady who's out of place to see if she'll go on a date with you. You should increase your intimacy and the size of your heart. Your heart increases in size as your level goes up. Okay. Let's look at our stats. My charisma is one. Good. Good. I'm very charismatic. Super charismatic. I don't see anything that says heart, do you? I don't see anything like that. That ain't all that increases in size. Hey, this guy's got jokes. Mice was found dead later with a distended heart. Wow. What a way to go. Can you imagine? Dude, dude, what's up here? Okay, it's just a half decent looking room. Earth, water, wind, and water before heart. Touche. I've heard that as well, yeah. Hello, would you like to go on a date? No, okay. Okay, let's try to find other NPCs. I don't know if there's a way to like figure this out as in like, oh, how do you know who you're supposed to date kind of thing? There's a smithy in the back of Lucent Cave. Oh, okay. All right, well, that's a married couple. I ain't touching that. Owner of a Lonely Heart. That's a good track. It's a good track. Sarcastic old biddy is her name. Have you tried Tinder? No, I haven't gotten the Tinder spell yet in this. Rowdy woman. Okay. Well, that's not working. Boom, 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 boom. I wish this game had analog support. Feels bad. This game does not support analog movement. Oh, no. What is that? Hold on. Something fell. Hmm. Well, the little cover there came off. Let me put this back on the controller. A little piece came off. There we go. I'll just super glue that back on if it falls off again. <laughs> Was there more than that? I don't think so. All right. Let's find dates. You. 
Nope, she's fanning over the other guy. The Forge Master. Sexy lady. Yeah, they're just like, they all want to date the, the Forge Master. The women in this game are thirsty as hell. Actually, no, I take that back. Everyone in this game is thirsty as hell. <laughs> uh, it's basically just an equal opportunity thirst in this game. Everybody is. Guard. Oh, no, no, no. Go that way. Okay. That didn't help. Hello. Middle-aged woman. Oh, okay. Let's go in here. This game is set in Tinder, basically, yeah. Do 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 do. Alright, there's nobody here. Let's go. Gamefully employed muscle really knows how to work his hammer. I see. Hotel, we just checked. What's a red dot down there? I don't know. Wonder if that's a date. That would be nice if those show us red dots on the map. Hello. Okay. Tinder RPG. This is a, like parts like about this, blah, 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 words are hard. Parts like this in this game are part of what make it frustrating to play. I'm literally just checking every building that I've already been in several times to see if there's something different. Like we're at that point. Boom, 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 boom. I think it's like a 12 pound sledge. It's it's a heckin' chonker, yeah. Oh, that's the lady with the knife. What if we can date her? The lady with sexy lips. Dude, what can I do you for? Nothing, okay. Nothing came of it. But you, you got sexy lips. Just saying that is makes me feel awkward. Can you imagine telling that to somebody? <laughs> uh. Oh, you sure do got a pretty mouth. Okay. Let's tone it down here. <laughs> uh like, let's fucking tone it down. Let's keep it in your pants there. Doesn't seem to be anything here. Hello? Hello? She wants to ride an airship. Okay. There's some kid. The gal we dated before is not here. Alright, let's go see what that red dot is. Doo doo doo. I scared off Tomba. Nice. It's my goal to scare one person off with weird humor every night. It's like a streamer litmus test. You know? Doo 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 doo. You're reminded of redneck tree ants? <laughs> oh my god, that would be amazing. A redneck tree ant? I think it just signifies this thing. You may get acquainted with a girl by talking to the statue. Okay. So let me do that. Doesn't work. Well, I guess we gotta go back to the forge. Nothing is happening. Do 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 do. Oh, that camera is pretty wonky in this. 
In you go. Hey, mice, you're back. Jai Bill's waiting for you in the smithy. Oh, okay. I guess I was just supposed to go here. The game does have pretty good music so far. Brother fixes things other than weapons, like pots and pans. He's working on a pot. He shapes the pot so the spirit can put more energy into cooking good meals. Can you experience shotgun weddings? I have no idea. My first time playing it. You can in Fallout 1. <laughs> you take this pot to its owner, she should be standing in front of her house. Come on, mice, let's go. Okay, we're gonna go deliver a pot to the owner. Your customer is waiting for you. Okay. Okay. I'd love to see a redneck tree in an actual D and D game. It'd be the funniest thing ever. I mean, I basically played a redneck drunken master. Pretty close, anyway. He was a dwarf, but still. He was pretty spot on. <laughs> uh, what's up, Laser Dante? How are you? Mm, 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 mm. Boom, 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 boom. All right, somebody's supposed to be standing in front of their house. Wow, there's actually lag when you open the map. I'm not seeing anyone stand in front of their house. Is it you? No. Cannibal redneck trance eating the other tree. Sounds like a story hook. Yeah, it does. Do you? No. No one's there. No one's there. There we go. Okay. Glamorous lady. Apparently he's a cute boy. What's up, Hafa? How are you? Yeah, we're having a good time. We're playing this goofy game. <laughs> Thank you something to eat for bringing the pot. Oh, okay, cool. Uh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is going to be one of these things. It's going to be one of these things, huh? <laughs> uh... Uh, what? Du -du -du. Dun, dun, dun. I'm not connected. Well, this might be glitched. Is it? Hey, okay. I'll just reuse this. That'll work. There you go. You can type one for A, two for B. Can't wait for the next Oric episode. Yeah, the last one, I fucked everything up the last one. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I, yeah. Yeah. So, so far, my understanding is B has almost always been the thirst answer, but not always, so. I got something in the last D&D &D session that let me reset an entire session, not intentionally. 
Shockwave, you say Super Nintendo owned an RPGs. Front Mission, Luffy, Two Breath of Fire, Illusion of Gaia, Terra Enigma, Live Alive, Final Fantasy 4, 5, and 6, Mario RPG, Secret of Mana, Chrono Trigger. It's a lot of good stuff. Yeah, I, I uh, really messed things up in the last D&D session. <laughs> He gave me a card to let me reset any event that has happened. That's obscene. So I did, and it reversed a lot of things. <laughs> Whoopsies. All right. Um, the vote is pretty clear here. Nine votes to five. Nine votes to five. You want me to pick A? So here we go. That has won. I uh, just came to deliver the pot. He's your type, huh, Mace? Mace, stop staring at you. Stare like that when you're on a date. You're asking for trouble. <laughs> <coughs> Wait. She's going to make us food. I'll go back to the smithy and tell my brother. Okay. You can't stop thinking about me? How cute. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Are we on a date? No. Okay. Oh God. Honey, I'm home. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Uh, uh, what are you doing here, kid? Uh, delivering a pot. Uh, tech tour people I don't think anyone was mad the DM looked pissed but I think he quickly got over it you want to go on a date hey kid what's going on here and, uh, I was delivering pots that's it Delivering pots, yellow disease. Thanks for the host. How did that not? How did I not hear that? I just saw that on my alerts right there. I didn't hear it though. I may have been like talking or something. That didn't end well. No. No, the kid got his ass kicked, didn't he? Do 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 Take this to Fort Teve, the stronghold to the west. Fort Teve, uglier little brother of Fort Steve. Fort Teve is the west of Boys By. I think this is Boys By. Mice, let's go. A dark acolytes were seen in the area recently. Okay. They won't stand in my way. I'm just going to pick that. <sighs> Triumphs are known for their swordsmanship as well as being expert spirit blacksmiths. Stop smirking like that. My sword broke that time. I'm usually much better. Really? Okay. I'll be counting on you mice. Let's go west to Fort Teve. Okay. A bit far from here, so you might want to fortify your sword. Ooh, she can help me. Okay. All right. Doo -doo. Okay, forge weapon. Yes! It was all capital, so you have to yell it. Who would you like to forge weapons with? Sodina. Which weapon would you like to forge? Um, Mice's sword. Added spell heal. Interesting. This is an interesting leveling mechanic. 
And we're playing this Final Fantasy Anthology Monster Seed. What's Monster Seed? Shadow Madness, I would like to try. Same for Jade Cocoon. This was a fun game. I mean, I'm having fun with it so far. Not for all the right reasons, but it is fun to stream. Why does this say MP1 4 of 4? Let's see what that does. Forge another weapon. I don't think that did anything. No, it did nothing. So Dino's knife. Let's try that. She's cheering me on. Added spell heal special attack D knives. Okay. Can I keep going? How does this work? It doesn't look like it. <clears throat> I'm, I'm assuming this is like the limit of what we can do with either him and or her together. So we may need to level up more or get more people to help us. So apparently this is what the dates are for. There's an intimacy and a mood stat. <laughs> oh my God. If MV is one, it can't be upgraded. Yeah, that's what I figured. <clears throat> so she's on our team now. That's cool. We got our first team member. <clears throat> Anchorchief give to a girl as a present. Okay. So we have spells now. He's got heal. Damage is undead. That's cool. Darn, you can't push L to go to another person. Dun, dun, dun. <clears throat> she has... Also, he has heal, but she got something else. D knives. Shower of glowing knives. Okay, I don't know what the D stands for, but... She do that. Dun -dun. All right, West. I think of West. These knives. We can call it these knives. The fits. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Oh, once he's in a different spot. What does he say? He says the same thing. Do 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 do. All right, so we'll save. We'll save the game. Wow, the game like visibly lags for an entire second when you open the mini map. That's wild. <laughs> We're gonna save. And we're going to go find Fort Teeve. Shitty little brother of Fort Steve. This game of combat? It does. The combat has been a little weird so far. I don't really fully understand it yet. But we haven't done very much of it. Gregorian monks to sing Halo theme. Is that theme normally? Date a girl? Yes. Date Sodina. Costs five MP. Wait, give her a present. Give her a handkerchief. What does this do? I have a present for you. I wonder what you're going to give me. <laughs> Wake up, Miss Crixie. Here you go, handkerchief. Thank you. I'll accept it. That sounds very neutral response. K 
Okay. Date a girl. Present mini game? I don't know. Let's do a date. Here we go. Uh, are we on a date now? I don't understand. <laughs> Are we dating now? It's fun walking with you. I have no strong feelings one way or the other. Yeah, that's basically how she felt about it. Ooh, got some elemental spirit. Date party up. I mean, she already was in my party, so I'm a little confused by that. See, she's right there. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see what the mini game thing is. End date. So we're on a date. Apparently. So do I need to like, let's, let's take her to the bar. I guess. I don't know. I, I don't really understand what we're doing right now. This is really weird. Okay, this is a lady who talks about the size of your heart. Oh. Um. Wait, what? Oh, I went upstairs on accident. I thought I... W <laughs> I thought I was, like, moving around her, but I apparently just went upstairs. Okay. Okay. Never mind. I thought like we were dating or some some something. No, I just went upstairs. This is more complicated than real life dating. It is, yes. It really is. Maybe the diet is to walk around with some arm candy. Maybe, yeah. There might not actually be a tangible benefit to doing this. Wasn't there like a restaurant or something? I think it's over here. Dun, dun, dun. Hi, Sammy. How are you? Thanks for the host. Date here? Yes! Oh, wow. It worked. Cool. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? I'm not. I'm not ready for this. I think trusting people is important. Okay. These are my responses. I don't know what these mean, so I'll let you pick. <laughs> Go ahead. One for A, two for B. Some of these I'm just gonna pick myself, but this one, I don't, I don't know. Dating advice with chat. <laughs> Looks uh, pretty clear here. 10 votes. Last call. Last call. Mm. Ooh, excuse me. All right. The bees have it. <clears throat> the bees have it. We're picking choice two. Choice B. Yes, I believe in you. That's a promise. Um, <clears throat> okay. <laughs> uh, I don't think we've gotten any, Sammy, but I don't know. Is it okay to cry? Um, are you all right? What? 
are you saying? I was just joking. What do you mean you were joking? That seemed like a real question. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> She's already playing mind games with us. This bell around my neck is my lucky charm. Okay. It's really cute. I want to say that. <laughs> yes. Thank you, mice. Yes. Dun, dun, dun. All you're seeing is the bonk in the corner. Oh yeah, I just I didn't realize that was there. Run, yeah, <laughs> Von Bug pants. I know, right? What the hell is a par? All the metal at my diabetes. Uh huh. Yes, thank you. Metal diabetes. Yeah. Good. <laughs> I never got to know my father, mice. How about you? How about you? I was, oh God. All right, this is definitely a chat poll right here. <laughs> All right. Type one for A, respect him in many ways. Type two for B, he's a perverted womanizer. Yeah, today we learned there's diabetes for robots. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> well. Yeah, that's looking. <laughs> Everyone's like, push two, do it. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, why would I even ask? You never know. Sometimes you guys and gals surprise me. All right. You folks surprise me. This did not surprise me. Not really. <laughs> all right. 13 votes to pick choice B. Uh, all right. He's a perverted womanizer. Is that so? <laughs> she didn't like that answer. Crap. Uh. If you could take only one thing to a deserted island, what would it be? Why do I feel like I'm in love connection right now? Where the fuck is Chuck Woolery hiding at? Holy shit. Uh, a set of a hundred beautiful ladies and ask you to come with me. I don't like either one of these answers. Dude, you're moving way too fast here, kiddo. <laughs> oh, man. You're going to bring your Game Boy. I, yeah, there you go. He's too busy being a piece of crap. Oh, okay. This guy has watched keys to the VIP. All right, let's do this one. We'll just do this one. I'll ask you to come with me. What? She does not like me. <laughs> a psychic told me I'm good natured. Okay. Oh, that's evil. You charmed everyone. It feels nice to be complimented like that, doesn't it? Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, these choices are miserable. <sighs> All right. We'll say this one. I just want you to compliment me. Let's we'll see what happens. Do you really think so? Yes. Will you protect me? Well, I protect you. Don't worry, I'll do anything to protect you. I don't really know. I mean, some of these are obvious. Like... I What I don't like about this question, she is asking if I'll protect her, but she's already played fucking mind games with us. She doesn't need protection. She seems pretty competent on her own. So what if it's another trap question? I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah, she's had bait questions, right? <sighs> <sighs> All 
All right, I don't actually know, so I'm gonna let you pick. You get you get the choice, chat. All right. I don't know. This seems like a bait question, but it could be an an obvious one. I don't know. I I'm leaning towards this is an obvious question. That's where I'm leaning towards. Like, yeah, sure, I'll protect you if you ask me to. Okay. Yeah. But she didn't like the obvious answer before, so this is this is tough. Do I miss the dating scene? I've legit never been a part of it, so no. <laughs> Yeah, it's a thousand arms, yeah. If you want to date me, Superman, you must first solve my maze. I think the people that aren't voting don't know the answer either. This is a tough one. I'm gonna put my vote in too. Just got like seven ads. Yeah, it's gonna happen sometimes. It sucks. It sucks. Dun, dun, dun. All right, I'll put my vote in. That's my vote. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. I don't know if it counted my vote, actually. Eh, whatever. All right. All right. Here we go. A. We have chosen A by just three votes. 11 to 8. I'll do anything to protect you. Here goes. Thank you. Yes. You're so kind. We did it. She blushed. Did you know that women are perceptive? Um Okay, these are this is just mean. I don't want to be mean. Yeah, but you're clumsy? Like, no. Can you tell me what I'm thinking? <clears throat> yes, that's why I'm staying away from you. <laughs> Whoa. Swing and a miss. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> She's not wrong. No. <laughs> Why are you looking at me that way? Oh, no. Walked right into that one. Yeah. Um, I see myself in your eyes. You've got some rice on your face. <sighs> All right. Here we go. Let's let's. Let's just keep digging the hole. Why not? You're so romantic, mice. Yes. <laughs> uh. Thanks for asking me out. See you soon. Hey, I think it went well, right? We did it! <laughs> uh, wow! I don't know why that went so well, but it did. What visual novel have I tuned into? You're uncomfy? Poor Crixie. Yo! Bunny Fulu, thank you. For 22 months. There you go, Crixie. That's for you. <laughs> That's for you, Crixie. <laughs> uh, she's like, I believe it sucks. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my God. Okay, I think. We should go save because we had a successful date. This whole game makes you uncomfortable. It's pretty wild, isn't it? 
do 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 Yeah, it's making me uncomfortable too, but in a funny way. Like, I cannot take this game seriously at all. Not even a little bit. Because the things they say are just completely off the wall. Cats are weird. <laughs> what are you doing, kitty? <laughs> I'm just in the background here. Don't mind me. <laughs> Look how pleased she looks with herself. Are you mirroring? Is that what you're doing? There. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. It's good, right? Yeah, that's the spot. It's the happy spot. Can you feel better now? What's up, Ali Kogo? All right, who got the lowest? I think it was Nightman Flock. Mr. All came close. Nightman Flock. Let's see those hammers, everyone, for Nightman Flock. We got a 12. <clears throat> a staggering 12. Yes. Yes. I can't, like, type right now, so. <laughs> yes. Bye. Bye. Like Kitty, how am I supposed to show a retro thing with you doing this? I appreciate that. Thank you very much. We are going to go west of town. It is time to do some explorations. Dun, 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 dun. So yeah, that's the goal. Make the Discord more than just what it is. So I hope you all want to be a part of that and enjoy it. It's pretty much always boosted to the max level, so we get high quality voice chat. People can stream on Discord if they want. Do do. You can upload up to 50 meg files there. So if you want to like, you know, like collaborate on like video projects or whatever. The dating misadventures of Mouse. His name is Mice, but it's spelled M-E-I-S. So yeah, it's it's a little weird. Dude, this fantasy. Hello, how are you today? Hello, hello. Boom, 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 boom. This guy's name is Moose. All right, so we need to go west, which is like this way. Some fort. We're looking for some fort. Okay. That looks like a fort to me. What do you think? Pretty fortress like. I think we're going there. Dawn Thief. There we go. That's a little better. It's a little quiet. Uh, okay. Stand by spell item. Okay. Oh, you missed. Defend. I, 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 I this is really hard to do this combat. <laughs> oh, I wish she had attack magic. She doesn't. Amazing. She cheered. Okay, thank you for cheering me, Sodina. Oh, he got two hit points for that. All right. Potion was stolen. Excuse me. 
I did two, no, 23 damage. I thought it said two. Next character is requires charge up. Damn it. Sedina so took over for mice. Okay. D knives. And won't let me do it. Okay. Yeah, the art in this game is really good. All right, so she's a little weaker than him. Where's Mice? He's like out of the fight. Okay. That's a little alarming. No, don't steal. Oh my God. I hope I get those back because they stole two potions. You just try to run away. Get wrecked, nerd. Cool. I didn't get my potions back, did I? That's not good. He's reduced to zero. He didn't die. I just did pick switch next character. Look, it's 27 hit points. I don't have any potions left. They stole them all. Oh, that's terrible. I probably should have bought some. Yeah, stealing means the item's deleted. That sucks. <laughs> that super, super sucks. Cool. There's a lot of potential in this game. I wish there was a better conveyance to it. What's the Dark Acolytes Armada? Hmm. Why aren't we here? I don't remember why we actually had to come here. Okay. Uh, my swatch out the enemy is coming from above. Okay. Oh dear. Oh dear. Are they bombing their own guys? No. I think the bombs were coming from the fort. If I had to guess. Hammer something. What's your name? I don't know, hammer guy. Nice. That was good damage. I think that was a crit. Oh, okay. All right, we got one. It's not much she can do in the back, huh? She's cheering. Okay, she can cheer. She can cheer and I get two hit points. Honestly, that's cool, I guess. It's better than doing nothing. I'll take it. Ow! She taunted the enemy. Offensive power down. Okay, that's kind of badass. I like that. Or she needs to heal him or he's gonna die. <laughs> Woo! Cheering can't be stolen, thus cheering is better than potions. You might be on to something there. Yo, they both leveled. Yay. High elixir. Yeah, the taunt is the only thing that kept me alive, right? 
pretty wild. Oh no, there's more. Whoa, hold it right there. <laughs> what is this voice acting? <laughs> Okay. This is Musa. I'm supposed to deliver a sword to him. Okay. Hydrate. Hold it right there. <laughs> BGG in the copy he uses it for bait alerts. Oh, never mind that. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Thrash these guys and sit down and reminisce about old times, okay? Look at Mice laughing his ass off there. Swords aren't durable enough to handle my strength. Did he just break a sword? Give moves of the sword, Gia Bill forged. Okay. Use this! Just what I needed. I was waiting for this! Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Royal has a thousand arms remote visage. Oh, she's played this. I didn't know that. She would like this game, wouldn't she? He does not cannot cast spell. It's Twister Blade. Let's do that. Seems like it works pretty well. Take it. Dan, dan, dan. That was pretty sick, huh? Dude's strong. I hope he joins us. <laughs> that was pretty sick. Dun, 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 dun. Hold on, I gotta do something real quick. I like the name of this, Fort Teve. It just sounds like Steve without the S, like they forgot the letter. Oh crap, I should have healed. I think we're about to game over here. <laughs> uh, yeah, it still has not let me heal. I'll try. You can try too. Oh. Oh, that's very strong. Ow. It's 
So I had to push circle to do that instead. Thirty-one, nice. Hold it right there. She's taunting the enemy. Ha! Lower, lower their attack. I wonder what governs does like what does crits or whatnot. If he does, it will end up like most RPG strong when in story and nerfed when he joins the team. That does happen a lot in RPGs, doesn't it? Ow. Okay. Not bad. We managed to survive. That was pretty close. I seem to get high elixir every fight. That's kind of crazy. Salem the cat. This looks interesting. That's a word for it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a dating sim JRPG on the PlayStation 1. <laughs> it's really odd. What do it? What are we doing? Man, they're still dropping these guys. <laughs> nice. Well, I think that did the trick. Cthulhu saves the world. I played that when it came out on uh, Xbox Live Arcade on the 360. It's pretty goofy. It's pretty goofy. It's actually pretty well made though. Soldiers from Shootern are all immortal. Hey, mice! Hey, it's good to see you again. Uh, okay. <laughs> Why did he say that first line? Like, it was just a matter of fact. Oh my god, the directing for the voice acting in this is so bad. I feel bad for the actors. It's like they had no direction. Uh, I heard about your homeland. I figured you'd still be chasing women. What have you been up to? What? A blacksmith apprentice? Are you serious? You? Mice? <laughs> I don't believe it. Oh, man. You must be Musa. I've heard a lot about you. I'm Sedina, Jabal's sister. It's nice to finally meet you. Jobble. His name is Jobble. It's like Resident Evil type bad. It is, yeah. <laughs> I hope we, we get to have a Jill sandwich at some point. Uh, huh? Mice? Yes. What's wrong, Musa? <laughs> Don't worry, Sodina. He's just shy around women. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I was like, oh no. The overstrong hero always has this like dorky flaw. You're a hobbyist voice actress? Oh, awesome. What if you like, um, have you done any like uh, fan projects or anything like that? Are you sure you're all right, Musa? Oh. He'll be okay. <laughs> Look at it, it's bright. <laughs> uh, it'll be like this for some time.
Uh, are you a spirit blacksmith? Will you fix my broken sword? Sure. Let's try it. Yeah, I'm not sure what the M meant either. It's fine. You don't have to worry. Sword still isn't good enough to withstand my strength. See, it cracked. You aren't as good as Jabble yet. He just broke another sword. Oh my god. Why are you breaking weapons? At least we know where a forge is. Let's see if we can't do anything with it. There's a VA series of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door and Ocarina of Time on your Twitch channel. Oh, I see what you're saying. That's cool. That's pretty cool. I like the music in this. What do you think? What do you think? I didn't even know you stream crystal. <laughs> Sorry. Or I forgot, which is probably more accurate. Let's see if we can't find any like elemental spirit chilling somewhere. Sometimes you can just find it. Forge weapon. Yes. So Dina mood. Her mood has gone up. The music here kind of reminds me of Breath of Fire 3. Oh, we can upgrade these. Let's do it. I'm assuming this makes them stronger. W level. Whatever that is, it's going up. Forge another weapon? Nah. I think we capped out. You think it's based on character level? Oh, that makes sense because they're both six and seven. That makes sense. I want to search the locker. Start. That's all like a bathroom. Okay. A barracks. Okay. It's a barracks. Beds, lockers, bathrooms. Everything a growing boy needs. There's a remastered version of Actraiser. Yeah. Yeah, it came out like a few weeks ago. Okay, okay, Lauren. Thanks for the lurk. Let us know when you're gonna stream again. Cause I always seem to miss it. <laughs> okay. You don't plug in discords? I have that channel muted, so let me know. <laughs> I had to mute the channel because new messages kept popping up and I was seeing them when I was live and I was getting distracted. So I usually only check it when I'm not live periodically because I want to see who's doing what. I want to see who's doing what, you know? It's a good way to find streamers. Oh, I can't go in that door. Okay. Do you want me to DM me? You can or you can just at me. Either one. You can just at me. I wouldn't recommend like, yeah, just at me. Just don't, please don't everyone do that. That's, that's not going to work. I had somebody doing that on Twitter recently. I don't know who they were. 
They were pinging me and like a bunch of other like streamers every time they went live on Twitter. It's like, what are you doing? <laughs> They're like, I just want to learn from the best to network. And I just was like, well, this is not the way to do it. Please stop pinging me for this. This just makes you look desperate and I don't want to interact with you. Hello, Crixie. Hi again. You plug in every Discord you possibly can. I used to. I think when you're just starting out, it can be helpful. Oh, I already went in here, didn't I? I got a little spun around here. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. No, wait a minute. Was that just a repeat of the same room I was in? I think it just looks identical. Yeah. It is. It's just identical in appearance. That threw me off. Okay. Weird. What's up, Cool Smoke? Nintendo, you say NES has the best RPGs? Which uh, RPGs did you like the most on the NES? You've been streaming for over five years and still plug in discords. I stopped at one point because I wanted like I I realized that I wasn't frequently looking at the streams that are plugged in those channels. So I was like, what would happen if I just stopped doing it entirely? The answer was nothing. Nothing happened. So I just didn't do it ever again. <laughs> I think it was like two or three years ago when I stopped. Probably three. I was like averaging like 10 to 30 a night. You like Dragon Quest? Dragon Quest, I like those games a lot. I've pretty much liked every DQ I've ever played. But there's only two now that I haven't beat. I haven't beat two and I haven't beat six. You didn't like it? Okay. Mm, let's go upstairs. You like JRPGs. Okay, but the question is RPGs. Not specifically JRPGs. You like a Dragon Quest Builders 3? Yeah, same. That game was awesome. Builders 2 was so good. Mass Effect. So the question of the night is which system has the best RPGs? We've gotten a lot of answers. A lot of people said Super Nintendo, PS1. Uh, PS2 have been the most common. 360. It was on 360, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't know which came out first. Was it the console version or the PC version? I don't know. It was like a multi-release, I think. I played the Mass Effect games on 360. Because my PC wasn't very good at the time. And it was like on sale at GameStop, like Mass Effect 1. I'd never played it. I just knew it was Bioware and I liked Bioware because they made Baldur's Gate 2. And I remember talking with the devs, some of the devs at the time when they were making that game, when I was doing game dev stuff myself. And they were like, it's a lot of work, but it's going to be worth it kind of thing. I'm like, okay. So eventually when I got a 360, I went to GameStop to get some games, bought Mass Effect used for like 15 bucks or something like that. 
It's pretty cheap. That's pretty cheap. You waited for seven years after hearing about Mass Effect. It was in development a long time, wasn't it? It was on 360 first and then PC. Okay. They had thoughts about it on PS1 and OG Xbox. Oh, no kidding. So they had idea for that. That went back that far. That's really cool. I think Mass Effect 2 is like one of my favorite RPGs I've played. And I don't like shooter style gameplay, but... I mean, that game was an RPG before anything. It was designed to be an RPG, like an epic space opera RPG. It has third-person shooter elements to it. Um, but man, the story in those games is incredible. <clears throat> yeah, that's Dark Blade. That's the one with Commander Shepard. That's right. Yeah. Lost Odyssey, I tried twice and I could not get through it. I just kept getting bored with it. I don't know why, but it was really well made. Your Commander Shepard, and that's your favorite game on the console. <laughs> oh no, the meme will never die. <laughs> uh, it couldn't be done on that hardware, so they waited and developed it for many years. That explains why the devs I was hanging out with were talking about it at the time. I think this was 06 or 07. I don't remember the guy's name. The one that I specifically was in relatively frequent contact with. Because he ended up getting his job at Bioware because he was a big content creator in the Neverwinter Nights modding scene. He made like custom monsters and a whole bunch of stuff and he got their notice applied for a job and got it um and i was in the modding scene too so gentleman simulator wow wow dallas megalith you say ps1 xenogears wild arms final Fantasy 7 through 9 star ocean 2 breath of fire 3 and 4 so we get in chrono cross I would say Super Nintendo preceded PlayStation 1 for golden age of RPGs quite easily, but that doesn't mean that you're wrong and then that in that the PS1 you know is the best. Everyone's going to have a different answer. But I do think the Super Nintendo was objectively regarded as the first golden age of RPGs. Yo, Jeef, how you doing today? Parasite Eve? Yeah, I like that game. All right, what do they want me to do here? Probably just leave. I don't think there's anything for us to do here. I think we're just supposed to leave. Let's go. Super Nintendo did have some good classics for those who love them. Go home while the dark acolytes are gone. Okay. Let's go. Hesitantly waiting for your child to ruin your sleep another night in a row. My goodness, man. Shoot. I didn't actually explore any of this. Maybe I should do that. This would have been a great spot to hide treasure. How's everything looking tonight? Is the picture looking all right? Everything looking nice and uh, pixely perfect? Do -do -do -do. You can even see the checkerboard dithering. That's pretty wild. He good. He 
You like the running sound channel? I kind of like it too. I haven't gotten annoyed with it. And I usually do with repetitive sounds. PlayStation 1 and Parasite was great, but stupid hard. Fantasy Star and GameCube was better off for noobs. I didn't play that one. I did not play that one. Let me make sure this is on the right aspect. Output optimization. RGB. Yeah, it is on the right aspect. Yes, 320 by 240 optimal timing. Okie dokie. Uh, oh, I guess that's an exit. I haven't played an Ease game since somebody fan translated Oath and Felgana like 10 years ago. This is the last time I played one. Uh, I use OSSC. I only use the Retro Tink 5X for PS2 games and for games that resolution swap. Because I can get a better picture on the OSSC. It just takes more work. But make no, make no mistake, the RetroTink 5X is the best upscaler on the market. Because for most folks, you can just plug it in and you're good to go. You buy a GameCube and Fantasy Star? I never did play that. It looked cool, though. Hello? Schmidt. His name's Schmidt. This is Schmidt, my brother's apprentice, who's traveling around the world. This is spoopy music. He's a surprisingly solid yet janky combat system. The first two, yes. The later games, it gets really skill based. Music is still pretty good in this. He came out of nowhere and ninja murdered that golem thing. He did, yeah. Serena, who is this guy you're with? He couldn't possibly be your bodyguard. <laughs> Oath of Felgana is god tier. The music is so fucking good. It gets me amped just playing it. Okay, chat. We'll let you pick. Which choice? Type 1 for A, type 2 for B. What do we got? What do we got? We'll let you pick. Type 1 for A, type 2 for B. Doom. Mm, pretty close. It's pretty close. Oh, he's pulling ahead. Dude comes out of nowhere talking shit. He is, yeah. <laughs> he totally is. Uh, you gotta type the number, Crixie. That's the way the poll works. What does that mean? I counted? Wait, really? Hold on, let me test it. Oh God, it did. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> uh, that is a pejorative term. Okay, I don't like that word. I'm just gonna delete it. No pejoratives. I don't like to single people out like that. 
All right. You have won the poll with a choice A. 12 votes to five. We're going to say, who does this guy think he is? Schmidt, you're back from your journey. He's learning how to forge good swords from Jobble. Jobble. So weird that it's Jobble. Thanks, Odina. Nice of you to say that. Good swords? Not by the looks of his. Well, my sword may not be as strong as yours, Schmidt, but it glows. Yeah, that's right. My sword glows. glows. What the hell for? A sword must be strong enough to intimidate your enemies. My sword glows. I dipped it in radioactive goo. What did you do? A glowing sword. Yeah, I swear to God, everything in this game is a euphemism. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Didn't you just see the awesome power of my sword? Oh God, the awesome power of my sword. The sword is strong with this sword. Where did you learn something like that? Jobble didn't teach you that. Let's talk later. I'll see you in the smithy. Take this sword. Protect Sodina with it. Ha 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 ha. All right. Thanks. Receive dark sword. Why did I equip the dark sword? Let's compare it stat wise to what I was using. It is better in a lot of ways. It has lower multi-attack, but it has higher offense, even higher defense and higher crit. So we'll use it. We'll use it. Yeah, I'm getting the big villain energy from him too. Yeah, absolutely. Smith himself. The dark blacksmith? <clears throat> I have no idea, Dark Blade, why they do <coughs> why they do that. <laughs> It's a good question. To be honest, that's a good question. Can I go into town this way? I can't go in the back way. All right. Should save. I gotta check that off. Darksmith? Ooh. I don't know, Dallas. I've never played this, so don't spoil shit. There's a massive TV tropes page for this. I forgot that website existed and that's probably a good thing. Do 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 do. All right, uh we got to go to the blacksmith. That's what. It's an addiction. Yeah, I've heard it's like Wikipedia rabbit hole levels of rabbit hole but worse. Like you just keep going from one page to the next. Have, has anyone in chat ever played a dating sim? This would be my first. <laughs> this would be my first. Uh, you all get to see it. Oh, how awkward. This is my first date. <laughs> Does Hades count? No. 
Not even a little bit. <laughs> uh, Ganguru Girls. I mean, that sounds like a dating sim name. I don't know what it is, though. You have kind of. What took you so long? I had a hard time fighting the weak monsters with your puny sword. Oh, my God. It's Bradolfsky saying some. You play Mass Effect? It's not a dating sim. It just has romance elements in it. Like a Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 did. Same company. Too many games that are too spicy for Twitch, that's for sure. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh. I'm asking if anyone's played a dating sim. Not a game that lets you romance characters. Hell no is what you meant to type, so you have not. You've played a few dating sims? There's one called Boyfriend Dungeon where all the dateable characters are weapons you fight with. Oh yeah, I've heard of that one. I've heard it's actually pretty good. That just came out too, not too long ago, right? Some people have said that X2, yeah, PC because of emulation. I, I would argue that PC would stand alone without emulation. There's some great RPGs on the PC. I don't think that would be my choice, but I haven't put too much thought into it. I don't know. For me, it would either be Super Nintendo, PlayStation 1, or PC. Like, I would be between those three, and I'm trying to think. Which one is the best RPGs? Because, I mean, you got, like, you know, Baldur's Gate stuff, Fallout games. Um, you have a lot of RPGs I've never played. Personally, like, never played on uh, PC. So it's hard for me to really judge that. And I've played a lot of P RPGs on Super Nintendo and PS1. So for me, it's probably... That probably eliminates PC. Um... My, f I think some of my favorite RPGs are Super Nintendo, but I'd probably, probably say PS1. Hmm. Probably, maybe. Schmidt Mice, let me take a look at your swords, okay? There's no need to look at Mice's sword. It's obvious mine is vastly superior. It's Bradolfsky saying some. Hmm. Are you, are you surprised, Jabu? You've done excellent work, but my heart is overwhelmed when I hold my, this sword. A sword is a weapon, an instrument of destruction, isn't that right? Don't tell me that Mice's sword with its weak glow is better than mine. A sword's edge doesn't determine its quality. A sword reflects the soul of its maker. Oh, got him. Got him. That soul, it is impossible to master the secret art of the spirit blacksmith. Yeah, X2. Yeah. This game is well done from an art design and music standpoint, and it's a JRPG about being a horn dog. It is literally that, yeah. It's a very weird concept. So it makes for good stream material, as you can all imagine. Yeah, because it's like a dragon's a great RPG. So I have heard, yeah. You become old Jabo. What has happened to you while I was gone? Mace's pathetic sword is better than mine. You gotta be out of your mind. Shut up, Brad. Are right, we going to sleep?
Sword reflects a pure heart. Don't worry about Schmidt. Pure heart, huh? I mean, it's purely driven towards thirst, so there's that. The senior apprentice Schmidt is mean to me. I don't like him. <laughs> Get over it, kid. Where's the restroom? It's downstairs. No, it's right next to you. Why is everything gray? Is that supposed to mean it's nighttime? All right, here's the restroom. Dude, you said you needed the restroom. It's right here. Use it. of Schmidt. I like it. Let's do it. <sighs> what do you want, Sedina? <laughs> uh, I want my stuff to... <laughs> that wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> Direction. Oh, wow. All right, where's your stuffed animal? Yeah, he is slamming those doors, isn't he? Oops, wrong button. Doo -doo. Who's that? Oh, it's a piece of Schmidt. See? There you go, Jeff. It's a piece of Schmidt. What's this letter? Shrant, I need to talk to you regarding that matter. I'll be waiting at the outskirts of the town. It's the wish of my master. What? Yes. Thirst answer. Let's go. Gotta be about a woman. Gotta go over the thirst answer. Really? Me? We haven't much time left. Emperor Medius needs your power. Okay. Can you give me a little more time? This is what the Emperor desires. Master Roshi answer? Nice. Oh, shit. Hi. Nice evening, isn't it, piece of Schmidt? <laughs> uh, yeah, just enjoyed the weather here. You know, nothing, nothing untoward. You ever heard our conversation, didn't you? Um, hmm, I don't know. I'll let you decide. I'll let you decide. Which choice, chat? What are we what are we gonna pick here? What are we gonna pick here? Do 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 Lie and deceive. <gasps> I would never <laughs> Oh man. piece of Schmidt doesn't deserve a straight answer. Doo -doo. Type 1 for choice A, type 2 for choice B. What do you think? What do you think? Let's get some more votes. Let's get some more votes. 
Do do. Oh, the test of merits. It's a pretty close vote right now. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, apparently it is counting the letter B when you type B. Interesting. So you can type A or B. Fascinating. So if I typed a capital here, let's see. Let's test it again. It does work. You can literally type A or B. That, that counted as an A, Megalith. You just voted for A. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good job. Yo, what's up, Mooney Masa? How are you? Worth it for science. You already voted Dark Blade. You can't vote twice. Do, 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 do. We need, all right, the next vote's gonna, that's it. There it is, Zordon with the B. 17, nine to eight, nine to eight has picked V, V, B, here we go. Yeah, you be too far away. No, it doesn't do duplicate votes. It's none of your business. Don't tell me what happened here. Uh, okay. Interesting. What's the secret to forging an elemental sword? The secret art of the spirit blacksmith? I'm not sure, but Jabble says it's being able to converse with the spirits. What was that? What was that? Why won't you teach me the secret art? Go, Mies. You are not ready. I know I'm skilled enough to inherit the secret art. The secret art. Schmidt. It is not for me or you to decide when you're ready. Mog breaking my plates? Oh my god. It is decided by your way with the spirit. Spirit, huh? Sounds like you're making excuses for not teaching me the secret art. Now I understand. If you won't teach me the secret, I'll find another way. Interesting. Then go to Mist Valley and stand before the Mirror of Souls. It will reflect your true self. The, the Mirror secret of Souls. is to imbue a spirit into the sword. In order to do so, you must know how the spirits see you. Mist Valley and the Mirror of Souls. Where are we? Okay. His name is Mace. It is Mice. Mice. Schmidt realizes that. Follow Schmidt if you're worried, Mice. He went to the Mist Valley just east of here. You got it. I will do it. He's got to go become Paladin Cecil. <laughs> yes. I wonder if we can find um, some of these NPCs again. 
to go on dates with sexy lady. Hello, sexy lady. Oh, that's right. The Mount was it Mount Ordeals did have the uh, that mirrored room, right? I remember now. I forgot that we have to play that. <sighs> you might be like, oh, that's cool. Final Fantasy IV is great. No, we have to play the complete collection on the PSP with the after years. <laughs> I can't wait to see what that version's like. Everybody's gonna be wondering what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> They're gonna wonder what the hell's gotten into me. All right, we're gonna save the game. We're gonna look for that one girl we went on a date with the first time. She was goofy. I think we got every answer wrong. I don't remember her name, though. Yeah, yeah, that one. Nelsha, yeah, that's the one we encountered. She was by the docks. Is this is a dating sim, yeah. That's an RPG as well. So it's both. Yes, yeah, yes is like the most factual answer. Like, I'm not like, it's not even a meme. Like that's, that's a, like just the truth. <laughs> it's, it's just the, the awkward truth that we all have to live with. Can we ever get anything in dating right? Takes a long time, but yeah, I think I could pull it off. <laughs> just, it's just, I'm just gonna be my awkward self, so yeah, I don't know. She has everything I'll need for a girl. Okay, well, I can't afford it, so darn. Azure Dreams? What? Um, no, I have that actually. I do have Azure Dreams. I just haven't played it. I can relate though, Cool Smoke. It seems like um, we tend to just get really, we tend to deep dive into our hobbies and whatnot to the exclusion of almost all else. So things like social skills certainly fall by the wayside. I understand it. I live it. You've been dating and married for eight years. You can't do anything right. Don't get your hopes up. <laughs> uh, that sounds like a tumultuous relationship there. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, man, as long as you're happy, you know what I'm saying? That's really all it boils down to. As long as you two are happy, that's pretty. then that's pretty kick-ass. The fact of the matter is that relationships are work. There's too much bullshit in media that makes it always look idyllic and fairy tale, and that's a bunch of utter horseshit. A real relationship is a lot of fucking hard work. You're not happy? I would argue you might need to do something about that then. Or do some soul searching. You know? If that's if you're being truthful with yourself right now. <laughs> Rewarding, but yes, hard work. Yeah, for sure. I wonder if we can date uh, Sedina again, since I can't find Nelsha. I don't really know how to find the other NPCs. It does seem rather random. Date a girl, yes. So Dina. What is this mini game? I don't know what this is. Cooking attack? What the fuck is this? 
Mimic Sardina's moves exactly the way she does them. There's a time limit, okay. Circle button, move to the right. X, move down. Square left, triangle up. Right. Okay. All right. Training. Are you ready? Yes. Go. Look. Up. It's fucking Simon Says. Oh no. Down left. Okay. Keep it up. I'm bad at these. I'll do my best. Can I exit the training? Okay, cool. Let's just do it. Are you ready? Uh, yes. Ready as I'll ever be. All right, here we go, chat. She does right down. Okay. I feel like the D-pad could misfire on this. Yeah. Up left. Up left. Keep it up. Down left right. Okay. <clears throat> Down right up. Okay, so far so the good. Game has just started. Down left, down left. Okay. Okay. Left, right, up, down. Left, right, up, down. Okay. A little bit more. Uh oh. Left, down, right, up, left. Oh, fuck. Woo! I kind of guessed. <laughs> uh, left, up, left, up, down. Okay, this is easy. Left, up, left, up, down. Okay. Almost there. <sighs> okay. Down, up. Right, down, left, up. Shit. Down, up, right, down, left, up. Yes. <sighs> down, left, right, down, left, up. Okay. Down, left, right, down, left, up. It's ready. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I got an A. Delicious. This is so good. I don't know why I did that, but I did that. <laughs> Cooking mama. Yeah. Uh, cool. All right. Let's go. So now we got to go east. E, -E indeed. Faster times you have higher rank. Well, it said 100 out of 100, and I got an A. Does that mean you can get an S? We're gonna go this way. Mist Valley, right? So that's this. Possibly. Fair enough. We went here before, but it was too early. We died very fast. We did not stand a chance. Did I heal? Okay, I did. Good. Let's get that treasure. 
Two antidote. Error. You like that? Means no map. Blow this on your soft mod on PS3. Whoa! Combat encounter. Merman night. All right, Merman. Did I say seven? Seven's not bad. Sixteen is a lot more than seven. I should have forged my fucking sword. Oh well. Oh well. Ooh, the crit though. We seem to be handling things fine for now. I, I do like the art style. I'm not sure I'm sold on the combat though. I don't like the whole like one on one thing going on. You have two PS3s that are backwards compatible. Nice. Those both play PS2 games, huh? I can't see. Yeah, I know they play PS1. All PlayStation 3s play PS1 games. What is GG? I think it's money. Not all models, all models do. For PlayStation 1, yeah. I think we should heal. We're kind of getting pushed around here. You fucking missed. You jerk! <laughs> nice. Still a bit butt hurt over Sony dropping PS2 compatibility. I understand it, but it did suck, yeah. Now. She's cheering me on. I got three hit points. Okay, we got him. Soft modded PS3 Slim can do PS2. Right, with a mod. I'm talking about stock. Like stock out of box, all models of PS3 will play a PlayStation 1 disc. Duh. Ooh, treasure. A potion. Damn. It's kind of anticlimactic. Fair enough. But only like the first few models did PlayStation 2. I know one of my mods has a soft modded PlayStation 3. She's got like custom firmware on there. Well, she lent it to me when we played Dark Souls with that chat integration. Or not Dark Souls, Demon Souls. I was legit like the only person in the world that had that. <laughs> it definitely broke the system though for some, some of the effects. 
It, it, it really slammed the system pretty good. Ooh, nice. I'm still envious you got a PS2 backwards compat one. That's pretty cool. Like, personally, I prefer the original system whenever possible, but for a lot of people, if you have a system that will play discs from PS1, 2, and 3, that's a very attractive proposition. It's a no-hassle way of playing three consoles worth of games, and that's really cool. I'm just going in loops now. Shit. I'm getting spun around. I still gotta finish setting up my PSTV's soft mod. It wasn't recognizing the SD card, and apparently it's because there are specific SD cards it does not like. So, I ended up buying a new one, and I just haven't tested it yet. Buying a new SD card. Ow! There. We need to heal. Oh, I missed. Your PS3's modded, saves your discs. You like it, but you still like a BC backwards compatible model? Gotcha. Like, I I play my PlayStation games on their original system because it gets the... It just happens to get the best picture possible. Like, playing, I'm playing this on a PlayStation 1 because this model outputs RGB natively, even the NTSC version. I just plug that into my upscaler. PS2 games played on the PS2 through component. Don't have to worry about backwards compatibility issues, you know, because they were it was like the PS3 did have backwards compatibility for PS2 games initially, but it was kind of a rocky road. It wasn't full backwards compatibility, but it nearly was. Yeah, I think that's really what it comes down to X2. Having striking the balance between having original hardware and available space, right? Not a lot of people have a six foot two wooden tower full of consoles like I do. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Let's be fair, this thing sitting right next to me is completely absurd. <laughs> it's not reasonable, especially with all the cables. <sighs> You got one for free and the other you paid $300 with 25 games. 25 games though is a lot, unless they were all like trash games. You have all your PS2, three games on a NAS. PS2 with OPL is good to go. Yeah. And PS3 has a network server tool. Yeah, yeah. You never had a PS1, so having backwards compatibility with your PS3 is appreciated. Yeah, I, I think that's great. I've had people who didn't know that, like in chat, and this isn't like, oh, I'm making fun of their, you know, lack of knowledge. It's, they were lamenting the fact that they had their old PS1 games that they couldn't play anymore. And I asked them, hey, do you have a PS3? And they're like, yeah, why? So like, cause all models of PlayStation 3 will read your PlayStation 1 discs and play them. And they had no idea and it blew them away. They were able to play their old games again and they never knew they could I'm like that's not that's not happened once like that's happened more than once here there's just not a lot of people that know that you had to cobble together two ps3s to get one that functions i mean that makes sense yeah 300 for a console and 25 games does sound fair, yeah. 
you didn't you didn't know you could play ps1 games and ps3 yeah you can echo yeah so if you have a ps3 and old ps1 games and no way to play them you do have a way to play them so there you go let's go this way i don't think we went this way yet the frick is this thing save damashi oh okay interesting ps4 has no backwards compatibility at all which was one of the disappointments about that system. I think it's like PS4 is the only PlayStation that's been released that had no backwards compatibility oh, at all. Well, technically the first one, right? Because there was nothing to be backwards compatible with. But two and on, two did. Two could play one. Three can play one and two sometimes. Uh, four had none. Five can play PS4 games. So, yeah, four was just kind of the outlier there. Right. Keep it up. All right. I liked my PS4. I just didn't use it too much. Wow, it's super bright here. This is really hard to see for the <laughs> for a new reason. I'm used to not being able to see because everything's too dark. So this is a new problem. I mean, it's it's the design. It's the design of the dungeon. So we found Berdolfsky. So this is how the spirits see me. Evil energy. Dang. Dang. Yeah, rendezvous. I honestly, like, when they were first doing, like, the tech... I don't remember what it was called. It was like a tech discussion. Where the, the chief engineer, the guy that designed the PlayStation, was talking to developers about like the kind of capabilities the system would have they discussed wanting to have the ps5 potentially be backwards compatible for all five systems or all four systems if that was true i would have pre-ordered the fucking thing i'm not even kidding i'd have been standing in line for that shit like that i'd still be streaming and playing on these original systems but to have a piece of hardware that could play their entire history of games is extremely powerful Xbox did it. <laughs> Sony, get off your ass, you know? Like, I, I, you camp out for that, right? That would have been huge. They would have cornered the market immediately. Like, they already are. They probably realized they didn't have to. I don't think a lot of people are buying that new Xbox. Can they do it? I don't know. I don't know if it's like a hardware limitation or not. Because like the infrastructure of the first three systems, like the first two are very similar. The third one is drastically different than all the others. The four is four and five are easy to make backwards compatible because they're almost the same operating system and infrastructure or whatever it's called. Architecture, there it is. But it's like PS1 and PS2 games. Why can't they just run an emulator on the system on the PS5 to read those discs and play them? I mean, it sounds, it probably is a lot, it's probably easier said than done. But the PS5 has got some seriously good internals. I don't see why it couldn't do that. <clears throat> There's no CD laser. Then how does it read the discs? If there's no CD laser. Is it you are you saying like the laser that it uses to read the discs is that different than the, the blu-ray discs is it it's that so that it literally is a hardware limitation because it's a blu-ray laser right so it's not like a dvd laser could read a cd it's not the same thing like the blu-ray laser is that different that it can't read cds has blu-ray laser so does that mean if i put in a music CD and a PS4 or a PS5, it can't read it.
You're not sure, but it could be because CD, DVD, Blu-ray use different wavelength. PS5 will have cloud gaming. I mean, that could be a solution. I mean, it wouldn't be great, but it could solve the problem. It can't read music CDs. Interesting. I've never tried to put a music CD in a PS4, so... Interesting. All I wanted was to make a powerful sword. Is this the reflection of my desire? You're a bad man, Brodolfsky. Are you saying that my desire is the same as this raging wave of evil power? Your PS3 still feels like a modern console. <laughs> You haven't had time to properly play all your games on it. Wow. But a sword is a sword after all. It is meant to defeat your enemies. You're a bad man. <laughs> <laughs> I want to focus my strength in one swing of my sword. Isn't this enough to make me worthy of the secret art? No, it's not. Cool. This game has really good art. Yes. If what the mirror sees is your true self, so be it. PS3 has CD, DVD, Blu-ray capability. Then why doesn't the PS4 and 5? Does the PS3 have two different lasers? Yeah. Yeah, Zordon. Exactly. It's this. It's this right here. Uh, where is it? I can't find it. Fuck. I got too many emotes. <laughs> Shit. Uh, where the fuck is it? Uh, there. This one. There you go, Zordon. I wanted to commit mass murder. Why would you teach me to do it better? Not violent spirits. Yeah, that's basically what he's saying. The PS3 does have two lasers in it. Okay. Most Blu-ray players that can read CDs have two lasers. So it literally is a hardware limitation. Okay. Interesting. That's too bad. Just think about that pipe dream. How, imagine if the place, PlayStation 5 could read in all of the games and play them. That thing would be worth the money it costs right now. It's not right now. <laughs> it's not. There's just not enough games. You are right about the sword being a weapon for battle. A cursed sword is fine. It is important that you control the spirit and the sword. You are a spirit blacksmith of darkness. I can read DVDs though? Now I'm just confused. <laughs> uh. I have seen your true soul. You are meant to serve me. You don't need the secret art. Forge swords on your own. Come with me. You are one of us now. That does look kind of cool. I think it looks neat. Don't go! Don't go, Bradovsky. Go for it. <laughs> Who is this child? I see the spirit of light. This does not please me. Come, you who belong to the darkness. Schmidt? Uh, excuse me, it's Peace of Schmidt. Blacksmith of light, we need you not. This is the only spirit blacksmith I need. Yeah. 
I leave no spirit blacksmith other than Schmidt. Even if you survive, you will have no home to go back to. <laughs> Imagine trying to yell Schmidt. Oh my god. Poor Star Neko. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a bit of a struggle there. It's all right. It's okay. It's a robot. Yo, McPatches, thanks for the host. Let's go. Fighty time. Fighty time. Fight out. Fight out. The start of that music, I just hear Breath of Fire 4. The way it like has that like staggered drum beat. Which song is that? Is it this one? Oh, well, I actually have to have volume on it to hear it. Yeah, it makes me think of that song. <laughs> That's like the similar start. What do you think? Maybe it's just me. Reminds me of that. That is a cool game. Who's played this game? Super underrated series, I think. You've played it, Karma? Jeff's played it? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty darn good. Which game? Oh, uh, that song I was just playing is from Breath of Fire 4. I really would love to stream more Breath of Fire games. All right, let's get a heal queued up. Shit. Dun, 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 dun. You played all of them? Even five and six? There's only one, two, there's only four Breath of Fire games, okay? Uh, nothing else exists. God. It's fake news. Ow. Stop eating me. Oh, I don't even need to heal. You played it when you were in college? Same. It's like my freshman or sophomore year. I was home for winter break. It was a good time. Oh, damn. Chrono Kid calling out Jeff there. You're the first one. <laughs> you did it to yourself, Jeff. <laughs> I am excited, though, for that challenge we're going to do. For you Breath of Fire fans. For name, cool, for name, shrug, for name, C, for name, sip, for name, snug, for name, J, A, M, for name, smug, for name, smart, for name, slain, for name, nom, for name, love, for name, shy, for name, clap, for name, thinkies, for name, thinkies, for name, thinkies, for name, thinkies, for name, thinkies. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for nine months, Antalya. How the heck are you? How the heck are you, my dude? Thank you for nine months. I very much appreciate that. I'm glad that you're enjoying your time here and all those emotes. So I was talking about Breath of Fire. This is this game was one of our sub incentives, okay? That we hit over the last year or so, okay? So when we hit a sub incentive, I don't immediately do the thing, but I do get to it. This is one of them. What we're playing after this is a replay of the first game I ever streamed on this channel in February 20th, 2016 which was Breath of Fire 2. We're going to play that again. We're going to play the retranslation with the double XP Zenny patch because that's what Capcom did for the GBA version. And we're only going to use the B team. 
So whenever possible, we will use combinations of Sten, uh, Jean, um, Spar, and Bo. So those four. So we can't use Blue, Cat, or Nina, um, or Rand at all unless we're forced to. So it'll be pretty interesting because I've never used those characters. I think it'll be an interesting challenge and I'm looking forward to it. And that's going to be when we beat this game. We'll be playing that. No, we can use them for um, their world movements, Sammy, if they're required. Like those, those, there's no problem. But I think the Rand roll is just a, what do you call it? I don't think that's ever required to do anything. Cat Nina. Nina is sort of required, I think, at one point. Cat is never required, I don't think. Blue is an, is an optional character, so she's never required. Rand is never required, so... It's a satisfying thunk. Yeah, when you accidentally like run into something and he, he kind of spins out. <laughs> Cat needs to break rocks on one town. Okay. So like I said, the challenge stipulates that we we cannot use them whenever possible. So if they're required for something, we will have to use them. That'll be the playthrough, Sunday, Monday playthrough after we finish this game. But we just started this game, so we're going to be on this ride for a little while. And then after that is the other sub incentive of beating Final Fantasy IV complete on the PSP. We'll be playing that on the PSTV itself. What is this town? I didn't even know that was there. Will six continue? That's Thursday, Friday. That's not Sunday, Monday. So yeah. And, and, and until we either get bored or, or we beat it, you know? This is can't, okay. Boop, boop. Since the Triumph family left, I can let my daughter out of the house without worry. Wow. What are you trying to say, lady? Wow. That's kind of messed up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Why not both? Like, I don't play them on the same day. Doot, doot. Oh, so this is this kid's hometown. This is Mice's hometown. Yay, elemental spirit. Cool. The Triumph family wasn't very triumphant. I guess not. Shopping? Uh, I don't understand the question, Karma. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I wonder if I should get some potions. I have one potion. Let's buy four. Just in case. Can you sell things in this? You can, okay. High elixirs are worth 400. When did I get a Necronomicon? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh. Oh, that's kind of badass. Will I be off for Christmas? Probably not. When is it? Saturday? Oh, that's on a Saturday? Oh, it's this Saturday. No? No, I'll stream. It's just another day for me. I will be here. Dude, 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 dude. I know a lot of people like to hang out on streams during the holidays. I know I do, so. I took a vacation once, yeah, one time, and I hated it. Absolutely hated it. 
Welcome. Well, I don't want to stay at the end, but I do want to save. Yeah, I didn't know it was Saturday until I just looked at the calendar. Talk. Thanks to Master Cliff, I was able to rebuild my business. Cool. Fifteen MP. Let's go down here. There's a cave in the south of town. Instead of being dark like most caves, it's bright. Oh, that's where I just was. Okay. Welcome. That's it? That's all you said? Okay. Thank you for welcoming me. I complained all over Twitter about it? I did, yeah. It's true. I'm pretty open about what's on my mind for that kind of stuff. Like, if people are only following me on Twitter for unflinching positivity always, I'm sorry. That ain't me. If I don't like something, I may, might mention it. <laughs> and in this case, it was taking a vacation. <laughs> uh. Whoa. Spinning cameras. I know Twitter isn't everybody's uh, style. I personally like it a lot, but I also have a lot of words filtered on it. And I think that makes it a lot more reasonable to use. Sammy's just mad because somebody spoiled something for him on Twitter. Just kidding. Just kidding, Sammy. <laughs> uh. It's become your favorite social media, but you've been careful about who you follow. Yeah, you really have to curate your list of people you follow. Was it Spooderman? No, it was something like two or three years ago. Oh, I can't upgrade that. Whatever it is. Dark Sword? Spider-Man was spoiled several times last night. It was, but I didn't read any of the messages. No one other than mod saw it. Yeah, the, the ban evasion tool works brilliantly. So Dina's knife. Oh yeah, broski, of course. If somebody gets too political on Twitter, I don't care who they are. I just unfollow them. It's like, I don't hold any grudge against them. I just don't care. <laughs> I didn't follow you to read about politics. I followed you because you do something cool. Or I'm your friend. You post politics? Well, all right, never mind. Unfollow. Okay. You know, everybody can create the, and curate the spaces they want for themselves. If they want to create and curate a political space for their social media, by all means, they're empowered to do so. Just as someone is empowered to not want to listen to it. I could say the amount of times I see politics on my Twitter feed is maybe once a month at the most. But it's usually not even that often. I have a lot of political terms blocked completely. It 
CSU, you would say PlayStation has the best RPGs because of Final Fantasy, Suicune, and Vandal Hearts. I don't know where his dad is. None of the workers are here either. Nobody home. Any politicians blocked? I think I have a lot of them blocked too. No matter who they are. Like, I just don't do that. I just don't do politics. Too divisive. People don't know how to have conversations about it anymore. That's why I ban it on, on my channel. Because people can't have conversations about it anymore. Painting of a rabbit. Do, 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 do. I don't want to. All right. So his house is still here, but nobody is here. It's a little weird. It's kind of eerie. The music is a little upbeat for that reality. Dun, 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 dun. PS1 has a pretty strong RPG catalog for sure. For sure. You have people blocked, long live robots. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> uh, data girl. Let's go. Let's go, Sadina. Her mood is one full heart. I don't know what that means, but sure. All right, Sadina, Lord, where can I take you on a date? Are there like specific spots you need to date someone? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, we had a few people say that, Hentalia. I can't argue with it. Like it kind of feels like it's sidestepping the question, but like, you're right. You can do that. Date here. Uh, sure. Okay. You guys ready for the cringe? Here we go. I would like to be an adult. <laughs> uh, I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> it's been real nice talking to you, but I can't be here any longer. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We need that. No, we got this here. Hold on. <laughs> it's too late. I can't do it now. <laughs> Uh, they're like 15. Oh my God. You like, you want to probably get this off the screen? No, this is staying here for a little while. This needs to be my thumbnail. <laughs> uh, just right to jail. Yeah. <laughs> you feel it? <laughs> Oh no. <sighs> um, I think you're already an adult, I guess. Oh God, these are just... <sighs> All right, they're both kids, maybe. I don't know. What are you staring at? What the fuck was wrong with that? <laughs> Mice, what do you think about me? What do I think about you? You are my sunshine. Mice, you have such a way with words. Okay, that one worked. <sighs> I'm free tomorrow if you want to do something. Yes. Do you want to go out with me? Sure, I'd love to. Cool. Okay, this is working. You're go I'm going to jail, apparently. Yeah. 
apparently. Can you call my parents to come pick me up? Uh, sure. Yeah, go ahead. I'm being really daring going out with you. What am I saying? What are you saying? Oh no. <laughs> These choices. Oh no. Oh no. Wow. Do I even need to do it? There you go. You can all mock me if you want, but the answer's in your hands now. <laughs> Everyone that's ever played this is on a list. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. I mean... <sighs> I think I, oh man, I don't know what I would do. <laughs> uh, like, I wouldn't say either one of these is the reality. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, can't be going corrupting young minds. Oh, man. Well, the votes are in favor of answer B, 11 to 6. One is safer, it's not quite as leading. Right, yeah. You think everyone who votes B is going on the list? I'm going to pick the vote I want, so A. <laughs> Thirteen to seven. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't think we're gonna get seven votes out of nowhere. So here it is. Here it is. Democracy manifest. <laughs> Let's get even bolder. Prepare to get slapped. You sound like a photographer. <laughs> what? That was the right answer. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> oh my god. I don't get it. I don't understand. <laughs> Why was the thirst answer the right one? <laughs> oh no. Mice. Are you keeping up with your training as a spirit blacksmith? <sighs> this is technically true. You need ladies to cheer you on and give affection to forge a better weapon. So this is like an actual factual answer. And this is just, yeah, I am, of course. I don't know. This one seems a little dismissive, maybe. <laughs> I don't know, I'm like overthinking this because the responses make no sense. <sighs> yeah, so, yeah. It used to be okay to be forward. It still is. You just need to know how to read the fucking room. <laughs> That's not an other person's problem. That's a you problem. At least they're only a year apart from each other. Okay, fair. Let's vote. All right, we can vote on this one. That's fine. There you go. I, I might have lost. Because I feel like both of these are honestly a good answer here. 
Like, this is clearly flirty, but it's true. You do need to build those relationships up to get better weapons, so... And this one just seems like the more neutral response, the safer play, I guess. What kind of weapon are we talking about? I know, this game is filled with entendre, isn't it? It really is. Dun, dun, dun. A sword, yeah. <laughs> This does sound like anime music, doesn't it? All right, that's 11 votes to three. That's a pretty clear one right there. So, choice B, getting to know you as part of my training. Really? I thought you were doing this because you liked me, but I guess not. Oh, no! <laughs> of girls are you attracted to oh no that was a bad answer <laughs> oh my god this is so hard <laughs> hello hello tragic the taunts are here oh my goodness uh, the, the hype emote is so freaking cute game master waluigi peak oceanic pecan mandrake what else we got tomu tokyo Tomo Tokyo, Armus, Twagic. Hi, Twagic, I like your face. How are you, miss? Thank you for rating. Tender Tato Seppo. Thanks for the raid. Hi, everyone. I'm Phenomenon. We play lots of retro games and RPGs. This is a PS1 dating sim JRPG. And oh boy, did you arrive at an awkward time. <laughs> This game is weird. <laughs> oh no. Hey Waluigi, how's everything, man? Armis, thank you for using Prime your Prime Gaming sub here. Three months in a row. Get the best the best bears on Twitch. The no ants. Everybody wins, right? What girls am I into? Creative types with ambition. Powerful women. I tend to like red hair, but that's not really a single out kind of thing. Um, tall is good, but doesn't, you know, it's really creative types with ambition, typically. That's kind of where that goes. That's probably the most honest answer. You like girls that have no filter? I like anyone that has no filter, personally. Not like an attraction. I just kind of like that personality quality. <clears throat> okay. So Nina says, Mice, what kind of girls are you attracted to? We're on a date right now. <clears throat> I'd like to be with a kind person. You're my dream come true. <sighs> You, you, you like the well-endowed ones, Crote? <laughs> Little strong there in B? It is, yeah. Yeah. I feel like A is the right answer here. I feel like it's the right answer. Do, 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 do. This game makes it tough to pick. I mean, she just asked me if I kept up with my training and one answer was of course. And another said, part of my training is getting to know you better. Okay. 
One felt like the safe answer. Chat voted two, and two was the wrong answer because she says, oh, I thought you liked me and that you weren't just using me for training. And it was like, fuck, that backfired. Holy shit. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pick A. I'm going to pick A. I want to be with a kind person. Is that so? She didn't like that. This date is going poorly. Do you think I'm cute? <sighs> yeah, right back at you, Carl. Right back at you. Do I think you're cute? These are both terrible answers. What the fuck? Where's answer C? <laughs> I hate these answers. I wouldn't say these. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, where's the emergency answer C? <laughs> I'm just going to say, I don't know. Uh. If you really feel that way, then why did you bother asking me out on a date? <sighs> Tell me about your childhood. Okay. Why don't we wait until we know each other better? That's what I'm trying to do. Fuck! <laughs> no! <laughs> I better get going now. Uh, already I'm gonna miss you. I'm sorry. I have to go home. Okay. It didn't work. Abort! <laughs> that was horrible. We got almost every answer wrong. I want to redo. I wish I could hit the reset button on a date. <laughs> yeah, Hero, we're playing on an actual PS1, so yeah, I do hardware only. Bye. I do the hardwares only. E -e. We're gonna fight? Oh, we gonna fight, Andy. <laughs> Uh, dude, I love those questions, though, man. You get people talking. <laughs> Andy, you should totally debate on your social network streams. Because you have games that you dislike that everyone likes. And you are not afraid of telling people about it. Like Symphony of the Night. One of your stream titles should be, Why is Symphony of, Night of the Night a bad game? <laughs> You're going to get so many people showing up to tell you off. <laughs> oh my God. It would be perfect. Good luck. <laughs> oh man. Hey, Crimson. How's it going? <laughs> okay. We're going to try this again. Hopefully without the failure. My goodness. That date would just bombed hardcore. Why is Ocarina of Time so overrated? Oof. Oh man. Just like completely bias your questions in the stream title. <laughs> What's Symphony of the Night? Uh, it's a PS1 Castlevania game. I personally really like it, but a lot of like Andy himself, he he appreciates the uh, the the OG Castlevania is better. So like I think one through four, he's a big fan of, and possibly uh, Rondo Blood and whatnot and Bloodlines. All right, let's try this again. Why you shouldn't play first? <laughs> oh my god. Ruthless. You like classic Vania. There you go. Yeah. Could you, you know, 
pass gas in front of me? <laughs> Come again? <laughs> That's her first question. <laughs> That's her opener. We're going on a date and she opens with this. <laughs> This woman is unhinged. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh my god. Sure wanted to see the blue flame or I have nothing to hide. <laughs> She just wants to get awkward stuff out of the way. <laughs> all right, all right, chat. Hold on here. You all really have an opinion, so here you go. You can vote. <laughs> all right, there you go. Votes are up. <sighs> it's like, hey, you want to go on a date? Sure. Could you fart in front of me? Wait, what? I didn't realize we were that far along in the relationship. Oh my god. <laughs> you all are picking me. <laughs> Jesus. There's 19 votes to four. <laughs> oh, I can't even right now. She's just more into herself than me. I mean, maybe. Maybe this is her way of being like, I gotta sabotage this date right now. This guy is too much. She's just trying to blow it on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I think 21 votes to five is a pretty clear majority here. We're gonna pick... Want to see the blue flame? What are you doing? <laughs> Not the right thing. <laughs> I like to grow flowers. She looked mortified. <laughs> uh. Okay, okay, I'm going to pick this one. Let's try this. I think this is a reasonable answer. She likes to grow flowers. It's a perfect hobby for a kind girl like you. Sure, right? You don't think those flowers are gonna grow now? <laughs> okay, I like this answer. It seems pretty benign, but you know, you know, a genuine answer. I don't, this is just, I'm hungry or something. I don't know. Let's try it. Let's try it. When I treat them yes. well, they speak gently to me. Flowers have elemental spirits, you know. I chose right. Okay. Okay. Am I not attractive to you? Um, this is such a whirlwind. These questions are just so non sequitur. Can you imagine having a conversation like this? I don't understand these answers. <clears throat> I I don't. This is a trap question. It's got to be A, right? Like, I feel like A is moving too fast. And B is like not denying her question. So she might have anxiety and self doubts. Oh man. 
<laughs> Where's answer C? Shoot. All right, we're gonna try A. I feel like A, it's gotta be A. It has to be. What is, cause like, what does this mean? You just need a little more time. I don't even know what that means. Real life, that is a no win question. This is some Russian roulette. She was sensitive just now, yeah. Okay, here we go, here we go. I think I look that good. <laughs> I don't think there was a right answer Did to you that. Know that women are perceptive. Yes. These answers are not the same. She asked us this before, and these are different answers. Like, this could be funny. This could be the funny answer, right? You crush that soda can with one hand? I don't know what that has to do with being perceptive. Could this game require you to, like, unlock better dialogue options? I don't know. This is only like the second or third date we've done in this game. And I think you do it a lot, so. This is like only having bad answers on Family Feud. <laughs> um, let's see. It's pop, not soda. It depends on where you live. It's a different word in different regions of the world. Let's go with B, because this is just too... Sometimes the ridiculous answers are good. Mog, do not... Don't even do it, kitty. He, he was about to go on the mixer. Some places we say soda pop. That's true, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I do say soda pop sometimes. I usually say soda personally. Sometimes I go with the soda pop. It's not that. Damn it. <laughs> Flowers bloom when you talk kindly to them. Okay, okay. Flowers bloom. Because spirits live in flowers? It's gotta be, because she just talked about this, right? This is just rude as fuck right here. Okay, here we go. B is fucked up, yeah. Yes, mice. It's good to know that you actually remember what my brother taught you. Yes! <laughs> it made a happy noise. Did you hear that? Do you think I'm childish? Yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, I definitely do. <laughs> These are both not bad answers. If she doesn't like the idea of being childish, then this could be a bad answer, saying I like you that way. But it is kind of affirming herself. B is just denying that she's childish, which she might be insecure about. <clears throat> I kind of like B better. I kind of like B better, but I'm not sure. So why don't we give you guys the pick? Be reasonable with this one. Let's, let's pick our best answer here, because this is a tough one here. This is a tough one. I honestly think both answers have merit here. <clears throat> she started a date saying I was wish I was an adult. That's true. She did say that. Yeah. <clears throat> she didn't say that. Mm -mm. You can also type if if you don't want to type the numbers. You can also type the letters. Both both work, but it only counts one vote. So. I'm going to put my vote, too. 
go with what my heart tells me. I know how I'd answer all these questions, and not a single one of these pre-chosen responses has reflected that. <laughs> she started a date asking you to fart in front of her? Yeah. That's, that's pretty childish, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. All right. All right, here we go. 15 votes to 11. You say B, you don't act childish. Here we go. Mice, you're so nice. Yes, we did it. <laughs> Good job, all right. Yeah, right, Andy? Her choice between affirming something she finds negative versus shutting down her ideas. I know, yeah. There's, there's so much catch 22 in this. <clears throat> I'm into anime girls, am I? Oh, I'm learning something about myself today. Okay, then. Do you think each person has only one soulmate? <laughs> Bear. Oh, my God. Uh, Bear, please. <laughs> I don't know if that one's going to work. Let's find out. I only have one thing to say to you. Tiddies. Tiddies S O O K I N on M A T I D D I E S Caparo and I love you. Hi and good morning, Bear Boo Smug. That's Bear's favorite new thing to do on her stream is, is sing about sucking on her titties. <laughs> Bear, thanks for 100 bits, you smart ass. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. You guys have to leave when Bear Boo gets here? Oh, please. Oh, please. You are not a precious, innocent little snowflake, tragic. <laughs> you stop. <clears throat> Do you think each person has only one soulmate? Huh. I don't like these answers. <clears throat> we have to protect poor Tragic's innocence. It's a trap. It's a trap. <sighs> Some people can have more than one. It kind of makes me jealous. This seems like an open up honest answer. This one's a little more ambiguous. Tragic's not innocent. You've heard her. Oh, I know. <laughs> uh, these answers suck. Buy new ones. Oh, man. And three years straight of T3. Damn, dude. Thank you so much. Wow, Neo. That's a very kind of you, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's his third year, 36th year, month in a row. Because he was like a normal sub for like the first three or four months. And then he bumped it up. <clears throat> it's a long time for tier three. Thanks, dude. That's mega support. It was my Xmas present three years ago. That's right. That is what that was. I remember now. Wow, that was three years ago. <laughs> All right, chat. I'm stuck on this one. I need your help. So here we go. <clears throat> she asked, do you think people have a soulmate? This is really hard. I feel like both answers are good. But I don't really know for sure. I'd like to see what the community thinks. Boom, 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 boom. Fuck. 
for dating purposes, you will vote differently than what you want to choose. Oh, boy. <laughs> Number two would imply that you like to cheat. I don't think so. I think number two could imply polyamory as well. Or just the idea that there is more than one person for you out there other than just one person. I don't, I didn't see that in a negative light. I saw that in, it could be polyamorous or it could be that there are more than one per person out there for you, but you don't need more than one. But it means that your possibilities are more than just a single person in the whole world, you know? One is like, yes, baby, and it's me. <laughs> uh, or just some people have an easier time with, with dating. Possibly, yeah. Two is to focus on the jealousy. Yeah, I don't like that he used the jealousy there. I think that does put a negative spin, but we've seen reasonable answers not work for her. So, you know, we'll see. Okay. 17 votes to seven. You pick choice A. Let's see. I think so. I wonder who my soulmate is. She didn't get mad. That's a win in our book. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> this bell around my neck is my lucky charm. It wasn't a topic when this was made. I mean, it's not a new concept, that's for sure. It's been around for thousands of years. <clears throat> doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. This bell around her neck is her lucky charm. Okay. <clears throat> This bell around her neck is her lucky charm. <sighs> it definitely was LSD, yeah. It became a lot more common around then. Yeah, the longer this goes, the more nerve-wracking the choices. Yeah, I know. Okay, I'm going to get a refill while you guys pick this answer, because I don't fucking know. <laughs> you think we're safe with A? Go ahead and cast your vote. I'm just going to get a drink. All right. What do we got? Well, wow, that's a lot closer. <clears throat> that's a lot closer than I thought it would be. You're too lewd. Are you? Are you too lewd, Bear Boo? <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Contact is a game I want, but it's very expensive. She had a bell end around her neck. Is she keeping dicks around her neck? Nice. Okay. Thirteen votes to eight. Her bell is really cute. Wait, it does look like the tip. <laughs> I just looked at him like, huh, that does kind of look like a dickhead. Person is your mother? <clears throat> what kind of person is your mother?
I don't like choice A at all. <clears throat> There's no fucking way. It, it better not be choice A, because A is creepy. <clears throat> A for abort. No, A is terrible. If you're on a date with someone, you don't want to compare the person you're romantically interested in to your mother. That's going to fuck the whole thing up. <laughs> Would be self-absorbed. Yeah, it is. I know. These choices are terrible. They are. These are horrible choices, but I think A is really bad. <laughs> A is really, really bad. It's got to be... It's got to be B. This is a lose-lose. Yeah, I feel like there's probably no right answer here. So we might as well go with the confident, cocky answer. <clears throat> like, I could say this... Realistically, I could see myself saying this exact answer on a date, but I would be saying it in jest, like completely mocking myself, you know? <clears throat> like, this could be a joke. This is you comparing her to your mom. <laughs> B. Hmm, Damn. I have mixed feelings about this. Yeah, me too. Stop giving me shitty choices. <laughs> What do you think about me? Hmm. We're moving way too fast and I don't like these answers. <laughs> He's so rude right now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I hate it here. <laughs> That's never a good answer in a Cronus. Never. <laughs> This game makes you really choose bad answers. Yeah, it does. It really does. <laughs> Worst dating sim of all time. Holy shit, Darkins. I think you're a judgmental bitch that asks leading questions of no good answer. Whoa! <laughs> okay. You need to lurk and put your face on. You may die of cringe in your corner. <laughs> Throw myself to the wolves. Doing it. You're the only person I love. You're the first person to tell me that. Whoa! <laughs> it made happy noises. <laughs> this was really fun. Please ask me out again. Okay. Dodgy kiss die! <laughs> oh, that was for you, Bear Boo. Hold on. Any of you making cringe face? I made this for you, okay? I made this for you. Here you go. <laughs> it's just for you. <laughs> She's like, I'm out. <laughs> what, you don't like the checkerboard pattern on her face? Come on. Doesn't do anything for you. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, we made it through that one, Star Neko. 
Yeah, they're both like 15 or something like that. Intimacy level changed to three. Okay. I don't know what that does. But we did it. We did it. All right, I need to save. I need to save. That was a riot. Welcome. Saving game. I don't know what the intimacy level does. We'll figure it out at some point. I could just read the manual. Like I got it in here. I got the manual in here. Yes. Kathom? 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 Yeah, Thousand Arms. This is my first time playing it. It's pretty funny so far. Japanese game, of course. He's 15. Yeah, they do love to have their heroes in their teenage years, don't they? In a lot of games and anime. <clears throat> Alright, Armus, thanks for hanging out with us. Alright, we gotta go back to our main uh, intimacy level 5 unlock Omni Slayer. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, my charisma is 2 now. That went up. I don't know what that does for us, but that's cool. Spell. I'm going to equip this back. Heal. Okay. Okay. I think we need to upgrade our weapons. <clears throat> she has D knives. And she has heal. Okay, let's go upgrade. If you get a three in charisma, goblins will finally find you attractive. Yes! Always wanted that. <laughs> Alright, forging time. You forgot about this game? Yeah, this was uh, gifted to me by uh, one of our viewers. So we're playing this on my PS1 OG model. So 1001. Forge weapon. Yes. All right. Forge with Sodina. It looks like we'll get new spells if we do this. That's pretty cool. So the whole reason to go on dates, if you don't understand, the premise of this game is ridiculous. So maybe you, you missed it or you didn't know yet. We're a spirit back blacksmith. And in order to forge better weapons, we have to get encouraged and be given affection by women. It's like the most anime sounding shit I've ever heard in my life. If you have affection from women, you forge better weapons. That's literally the premise of this game. So you go on dates to try to get them to like you so you can get different and or better weapons. <laughs> it's completely absurd. <laughs> okay, we have wind and barrier now. Can I forge that dark sword or no? Doesn't look like it. All right. It's pretty wonky game. It's got good music so far. The art direction in this is excellent. The gameplay is actually not that good. As far as like combat and exploration go, that's been the weakest part as well as like a lack of conveyance here and there has kind of hurt us a little bit. The humor is probably the best quality of this game so far. Sword is a mood meter. It almost feels that way, doesn't it? <laughs> it's a very anime storyline. It really is, yeah. 
<laughs> Alright, where's the town? There it is. We want to go there. Okay. I don't hate harem anime, but I don't like it. You know, like I just don't watch anime really. It's those things that attack Fort Teeth. Okay. Oh, this is fine. Those are the Dark Acolytes airships, the same ones that destroy Kent. Oh, I see him up there. <clears throat> Jimbo, I have to see if he's all right. Oh dear. Oh dear. Let's see how it aged. I, 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 yeah, you'll get to see how it aged and I'll get to see how it aged from a, from never playing it standpoint. I'm going to go on a date right now. Wonder if there's random encounters. We'll find out, right? Well, this is. What, what did the English say? Chuffed. I think Bearboo left. I can't ask her for my slang lessons. She gives me English slang lessons. Wow, this place is just screwed. It's completely screwed. Wow. Okay. Everything's on fire. <clears throat> Peepo Mage. Nice. I like that name. I think I told you that before. <laughs> I may have forgotten that. Oh, oh. Jobble. All right, Waluigi. Thanks for hanging out, man. Can we help? Or we can vibrate. Sadina. Let go of me. Jobble. <laughs> it got you too, Darkens. Nice. Mice, Sodina. Watch and learn. He's gonna die. If this is like an anime, then he's gonna die. That guy's name is Shaft. Why is everything sexual and Tondra in this game? His name is Shaft. <laughs> Come on. Give me a break already. Those can get reported, Jeff. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He got killed by the shaft. He got killed by the shaft. General Andrews, what's up? John the scavenger, hello. Hello. How's it going? General Andrews, how was your stream? How did it go? Welcome everybody. I am Phenomenon. We play a lot of retro games and RPGs. He got shafted. Very funny. <laughs> yep, yep. I see it. I see more than one of you said that. <laughs> We're playing tonight. Thousand Arms on the PS1. It is a dating sim JRPG and it is a freaking hoot. And a really awkward game. <laughs> Yo, Junkyard Dave, how you doing? Uh, it was awesome. You were playing Mega Man 2. Continuing to de -rust. Oh, speed runs. Right, right. That's... My favorite Mega Man is 4, and then 2. 2 is my second favorite. 2 is my second favorite. 
Now, do you do, um, since you're doing speed runs, is it a Japanese copy or is it English? And do you do it on hard or normal? <clears throat> you love watching your friend play this game while you were grinding Ancient Cave and Lufia too. Did we just become best friends? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I love Ancient Cave. <clears throat> Master. Call a doctor. You mean this guy, right? <laughs> this puppy right here? Yes. Don't worry about me. Mice. I want you so to good. have this. That's like one of the best Super Nintendo games. <clears throat> What? I like how we're having this like heartfelt moment and I'm just like, Luffy, yeah, fuck yeah. Like, okay, let's dial back. But this is your hammer. <laughs> I can't take it. I'm not ready for this yet. Every once in a while on a Saturday, I just pop in Luffy 2 and we do some Ancient Cave. I have yet to beat it, but I still like it. like the Ancient Cave so much. I've never beaten it though. I got to the end once and only once and I didn't know what to do and the slime just pieced the fuck out after like three or four turns. You beat it once? Oh, I'm jealous. I'm so jealous. I have so much more to learn. Dave, same, yeah. First time I played Lufia 2 and I found the ancient cave, I couldn't believe how, like, far it went. I wanted to see how far it went. It just kept going and going and going, and I was there forever and ended up leaving eventually um, with tons of really good items that made the game for a while pretty easy. <laughs> all right take it i know you have potential i got something to show you nice. folks that just came here thank you have for supporting andrews on that raid forge your sword with your faith the spirit will answer your desire jibble got got shafted you worked in all iris nice. items sedina go to the loosened cave find the sacred altar <clears throat> There lies a sacred torch. The holy flame will guide you. This game, say what we will about this game and how awkward it is, but the art direction is pretty stellar. <laughs> Master. It gives me lunar vibes. Shovel. I have the same kind of Sedina, vibes. Take care of mice. Mice, take care of Sedina. Believe in each other. No, I don't want to. If there's a 100% completion trophy for Luffy, it's here, you'd have... <laughs> what the hell was that echo? <laughs> uh, oh my god. No showdowns. I've never heard of that one. You love Lunar? Yes. Me too. I, I streamed... Like, the, about the beginning of 2020, I want to say it was. I streamed Lunar Silver Star Story Complete. So, Dina, we should go to the Sacred Altar. Jabal wanted us to go. It was my first time playing it since it had come out. And then right after that, I streamed for the first time ever Lunar Eternal Blue complete. And oh man, those playing those games back to back was great. But here, anyone who wants a little vibe of what we're about, I got this video, which is amusingly very related to what uh, General Andrews was doing tonight. <laughs> so there you go. Check it out. Get comfy. If you're a big lurker like me and you want to follow... Uh, but you don't like seeing your name pop up or get called out. All follows are anonymous. So names don't pop up and we can't see them. Dude. I found myself waiting until streams were over to follow a channel. So I was like, I want to make sure people can follow here without worrying about it. You know, because you don't always have time to talk or answer someone when you follow, you know. There you go. Well, come on in, folks. It's good to have you. You're trying to learn step count minute for Luffy 2 to speed run it? I don't know if it's still true, 
I just remember when watching Lufia 2 speedruns on the overworld, you had to like open the menu like every four steps. Because anytime you close the menu, it gives you a four step buffer without encounters. So you just keep doing that over and over and never have random encounters in the overworld. It's kind of wild. I think it's four steps. It's something like that. To tell you the truth, I'm still confused. Jobble has willed his hammer to me. A lot has happened recently. Jobble has willed his hammer to me, and this was his life. Oh, did the ads just slam in? Oh boy, here we go. <clears throat> There's got to be something at the sacred altar. Nine euros a month as well. Oh, so it's not marked up. That's good. That's a bad one. Yep. Making jokes in Twitch chat without emotes. Oh, you better believe that's a bad one. I know about the sacred altar. Jobble took me there when I was ill. Nine euros is horrible. Okay. That's over 10 US dollars. So it's like a dollar extra. Okay. For never seeing an ad. Still sounds like a good deal to me, to be quite honest. <laughs> I mean, that sucks that it's more, but you literally will never see an ad again. Cost of two subs, never see ads and make your name. Alien. Oh yeah, it does do the name color thing. You can pick any color. Does Turbo work for mobile and watching VODs? Uh, I don't know. I've never watched the VOD on mobile, but I've watched streams on mobile and never seen an ad. So I know it works for live streams on mobile. Yeah, her shoulder bow things are massive. Yeah. He knew the holy flame could cure me. He was so good to me. They did lower the sub price for Mice. not just Europeans, but literally every country in the world except five. The only five countries in the world that didn't get lower sub prices were the US, Canada, Japan, Israel, and I think Switzerland. Every other country in the world got lower subscription prices. <laughs> Yo, thanks, Giant Rat Guy. Let's go, Sodina. For Jobble. Jasper Beardley? Is that his name? The old guy with the paddle on The Simpsons is named Jasper Beardley? That is a freaking awesome name. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why Canada get it, didn't get their price lowered. They should have. Yes, let's go. The sacred altar is south of Boysby in the Lucent Cave. Lucent Cave, okay. Can I steal the sword? Here lies Jabal, the master blacksmith. This is the humble grave we made. It's humble, but I want to steal the sword. Just saying. Can I can I have it? Damn it. Can't take the sword, chat. I, I'm an absolute loot goblin when it comes to games like this. I do not give a fuck. I want to steal everything that isn't locked to the floor. Oh my god. You know what would be funny? Like people have been playing Skyrim again, and I've been wanting someone to do this someday. I want them to do a playthrough of Skyrim where they steal everything they can find and then they go to their home in Whiterun and then they just drop it all on the ground. And I want to see how long it takes before the game crashes. It would be like a hoarder's worst fucking nightmare. <laughs> like just shit all over the floor, like cheese wheels and like flowers and like pots and, and rusty weapons and, sh and armor just all over the floor. I think it's based on your account um, detail showdowns, but I don't know for sure. So I, I don't know. I can't facilitate that kind of thing. All I can say is uh, good luck, I guess. <laughs> oh, there was an NPC there. You could do that. You probably could. You just got a massive upgrade. Right. You could spawn items, but I think it would be funny to make a playthrough out of it. Spawning items is a five minute video. You know, if that there's, they already exist by the dozens. 
but actually making it a live stream playthrough where you just steal everything and then just hoard it in your house and see what happens. That's an experience. <laughs> That's an experience right there. You force yourself to quit over looting. You hate managing the horde. Yeah. Hello, little lady. Are you here to steal the show again? Is that what you're doing? You want to steal the show? Okay. You can do that. Yeah. Get that scratch. Yeah. All right. The diva is here. Yeah, I'm talking about you. You're the diva cat. She's a little fuzzy diva. See, even the camera is focusing on her now. I'm just in the background. <laughs> uh, cat tuber. Nice. Nice. Yeah, Mog's just asleep over there on the other side of the desk. Listen, lady, your timing is not very good right now, okay? We're just in the middle of doing something here. She don't care. She does not give a fuck. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I would think it would be a funny playthrough to walk or watch just you're not allowed to put anything in shelves or, you know, anything. Anything you loot, you have to drop on the ground in your house if you're not using it. Just completely hoard as much as you can and see how long it takes. Yeah, yeah, stalker, yeah. She don't even know it. When can we sub to Lickety? Well, Lickety, you do need to start earning your keep, so how are we gonna do that? The answer, Jeff, is to do a tier two sub. Tier two is called the cat tier. I stole the Andy from, or stole, I stole the idea from Andy social network. And one of his channels, he has the boob tier, which is like tier two. <laughs> I was like, huh, I could do that, but not with the boobs. Instead, I'll make it cats. <laughs> so there you go. Tier two is cat emotes. Those are my cats. And tier three is um, is a uh, cosplay emotes. What retro games would she play? Hmm. Well, she's thirteen, so you love the boob tier. Yeah, the boob tier is a pretty inspired idea by Andy. It's literally just like video game sp waifu sprites. It's awesome. <laughs> I think he's got like Blaze from Streets of Rage Four and. Uh, that ninja girl from King of Fighters. I forgot her name. There's a whole bunch in there. It's like, oh man. Yeah, that's the boob tier. <clears throat> you done stealing the show, kitty? No, you're just getting into position. Okay. She had to get closer. <sighs> read to kitty. Oh, we have to read from a retro book. Okay. Okay. We can read more about this game. This is the guide to Japanese role-playing games. It's 650 pages. The last time we read, it was about this game. Yeah, she does that. She's a total camera hog. All right, let's see. The premise of this game is basically a dating RPG, sort of like Soccer Wars, but in the mold of a more traditional JRPG. The problem is both elements are executed very poorly. Up to three characters can appear in combat, but only one of them positioned in the front row can actually attack while the others sit in the back row and can use items and provide other support. There's a real time element where you select a move then wait a few seconds before you can execute it. It's needlessly slow, brainless, and not much fun at all. Yeah, I kind of agree. <laughs> My is the ninja girl? Okay, yeah, yeah. As for the dating elements, there are several different girls that can come along for the journey and you can take them around various towns to have dates with them. However, these just revolve around answering simple dialogue questions. Their intimacy level increases or decreases based on your answers and that affection is used to enhance your weapons. 
There are gifts you can give them, plus various minigames you can play, depending on your partner. While some of the girls are amusing, this whole system is too shallow to feel like it's worth much. <laughs> the game does have a goofy sense of humor. The NPC dialogue in particular sparkles, often making subtly dirty jokes or breaking the fourth wall. They're the sort of lines you'd find in a working designs translation. I mentioned that when we first started. But they feel more appropriate here in a game that really wasn't meant to be taken seriously. There's a certain novelty behind Thousand Arms that keeps it from being unplayable, mostly because at this point, outside of carna the carnival event in Final Fantasy VII, English-speaking gamers weren't really familiar with the concept of dating in a video game. <clears throat> but that's also not enough to make the game good. The concept didn't really take off among English-speaking community until Atlas's own Persona 3 several years later. Cool. So far, this game has been pretty damn funny. Somewhat accidentally. Yeah. There we go. Persona before Persona. Well, a different company made it. It's called Red Company is who made this, but Atlas did publish it. They did, uh, in fact, publish the game. So they, you know, they're in, they might have had a bit of influence there. We don't know. Do, do, do. You like the way it plays? Um, this game is definitely something. I feel like this game is perfect for a stream, you know? Like, I, like, playing this alone, this game is so zany that... Like, if you tried to tell someone about it who wasn't familiar with this kind of game, they would they would think this game sounds like utter nonsense. But you're all getting to see this happen in real time while I'm playing it. And it's just one of those things, it's like you have to be there to see it. Because no one's going to believe you otherwise or get it. <laughs> so this is like a perfect live stream kind of game. I've only played um, Persona 4, and I didn't get very far. I liked it. I just kind of got distracted and a little bored. It's got good music. It was fun. I just don't know why I didn't keep going. It'd be a lot easier for me to play now that I have the Retro Tank 5X. Wait, did he say go south? I think he did. Lucent Cave, right? I think he said Lucent Cave. Shit, I don't remember if he said South. Did anyone remember? <laughs> You only play Persona 4 Golden? I just have the normal Persona 4 on PS2. Oh, I get to see combat if you haven't seen it yet. You weren't paying attention? Yeah, I, I wasn't either. <laughs> what is this thing? I don't know, some kind of hawk. What's he doing? Ow! Cool effects. It was weak, though. I do have some SMT games that I haven't played yet. I should give them a shot sometime. I have Devil Summoner 1 and 2 and Digital Devil Saga. I'm gonna go back and play Persona 3 again, but you need to get a new PSP. You could get a PSTV if you can afford it. That's what I use. 
He's a PS TV. That'll play PSP games, Vita games, and uh, PS1 games, but they're all digital. Except for the Vita games, I think. You did buy SMT3 for the Switch. Is that the, the Nocturne 3? That one just hit, right? Like recently. Digital Devil Saga was amazing. I still haven't bought the second one yet. You didn't know that existed? You're gonna have to buy it used somewhere, Hewdy. They're not cheap, but it is the best way to play PSP games. It's not even close. Cause it will output like a 720p signal via HDMI and you can plug your PS3 or PS4 controllers into it. So it's pretty damn, pretty damn useful. It's basically a consoleized Vita that will play digital PSP and PS1 games and Vita games. All right, I feel like we're on the right path here. I think that's where it wants us to go. Hopefully this is the Lucent Cave. It doesn't say the names. This looks right. It's a cave. Wait, how do I get that? Ah, shit. It's going to be one of these. Okay. Persona 4 Arena is getting a remaster. Yeah, I think they just announced that at the Game Awards. Sword and Crab. This thing looks like a freaking Pokemon. <laughs> it seriously just looks like a Pokemon. Do, do, do. 21 holy hell that thing is strong no, I don't want to heal the crap nice dodge all right we got him they look like Digimon? I, okay. I'm not very experienced with Digimon, so I'm gonna have to take your word for it. <laughs> All right, she leveled, good. The character, yeah, the art direction in this game is pretty good, Crimson. They, did, they have pulled that off pretty well. Here we go. Elixir, okay. Typically in an RPG, an elixir is usually pretty powerful so let's hope the same for this i can't rotate the map in here so it's hard to even have a bearing of where i'm going digimon design philosophy take an animal and add more and more machine parts or take a machine and add more animal parts. Both work. <laughs> I see. Uh, interesting. <laughs> Defect. Wow, even defending, he still took 12 damage. That was not worth it. I should just attack. He taunted the enemy, lowers his offense. That's cool. It's a fucking Pokemon. It's got bubble beam. <laughs> Just in case you miss, queue up a heal. Nice. All right. Looks like a Mega Man game enemy. Yeah, I can see that too. Like one of the robot masters. Geo bottle. I wonder what that does. I mean, I've never seen slash played Digimon, so I don't really know much about it. 
Geo bottle. Earth damage varies by user status. Okay. Apparently weapons are accessories. Odd. Okay. a very bright game. I think the 3D environments in uh, Xenogears were much better than this game so far. Oh, geez. Okay. I should have saved outside the cave. I forgot to do that. Nine, okay. Do, 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 do. He's still not dead, damn. At least we're fully healed. Ha! I dodged. She's cheering me. I got zero hit points. Okay, great. <laughs> Why are you not dead yet? Oh my God. Lack of a nicer way to put it, most Digimon games are pretty bad. I see. Digimon Evolution is like a cute animal, then a cute animal with spiky bits, then somehow just like a dude in some bondage gear with a wing. What the, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> One of these things is not like the other. <laughs> That's massively confusing. All right, that guy's down finally. She's cheering me on, yeah. 31, that was pretty good. Ow. All right. That Skylines, that right there, what you just said, is the reason why I couldn't watch that show. That's it. It's the reason. Because that song was so repetitive and annoying that as a kid, I would get, like, mad misophonia. And I'd, like, run to the TV to change the channel so I didn't have to hear one more second of it. It was, like, the most annoying song I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> All right, let's use this on her. Elixir gives about 24-ish EP. Okay, so it's like an ether. I think we're going up. No, we're going down. Okay. The original Japanese opening is so much better. Oh, I wouldn't. It would not surprise me at all. Would not surprise me in the least bit. Oh, is this a dead end? I guess. Watch it in Japanese? I mean, the honest answer is I'm not going to watch it. Like, I was never that interested in it to begin with, and that song just was like the nail in the coffin. Okay. Ow! Quit it! Do, 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 do. Heal me, please. No, no, no. I thought. Okay, you attack. You heal me. There we go. Okay. There we go. It's insane how many times that's repeated. Yeah. It's pretty wild. Like, I rarely watch shows. When I do, it's it's notable. Does that make sense? Like, something about that show or whatever 
is notable in of itself that got me to watch it because I almost never watch anything. Like, The Witcher Season 2 just came out. What? When was that? Thursday? I finished it in two days. <laughs> With my stream schedule. I lost sleep because of that show. I liked it. <laughs> it was fucking awesome. That is notable. Ow. It hit like a truck. Oh, wow. She taunted the enemy and lowered his defense. That was cool. Ow. Quit it. Yeah, I keep missing. Yeah, I was a big fan of that. I highly recommend you watch that series if you like fantasy or RPGs. It's good stuff. But I won't talk about any details of it because I know there are people out there that haven't seen it yet and they don't want spoilers. There we go. Last thing you watched was a Castlevania Netflix series almost two years ago, which is amazingly good. Oh, did I love that. I can't wait to see the sequel. I think the next series is going to be like symphony of the night timeline so like richter right like richter like the richter belmont story richter old card that's that's the that's the the prevailing rumor slash theory or info that's out there because the netflix series is all based around castlevania 3 like it's like a, a reimagining retelling of all the events during that time it's really fucking good should be Rondo into Symphony of the Night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah. Right, because the opening of Symphony of the Night is the ending of Rondo. Quite literally. I remember that now. Yeah, so that makes sense that it would be both of them. Doo -doo. You were working the entire weekend and today's your first day off. Well, I hope you get time if you want to watch it. It is very good. Oh, it looks like I can go this way. Okay. All this ice everywhere is making it hard to see because it's transparent. Oh, there we go. You're wondering which game it was the sequel for? Yeah, Rondo, which was what? Saturn? It's like Japanese Saturn only? I think. Do 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 do. Was it necessary? Yeah, I think so. Because it basically was reiterating the lesson that he was trying to teach everyone was to not get close to him. Everybody either tries to use him or fears him. So it just kind of pushed him deeper into his isolation. Rondo is PC Engine CD. Oh, okay. I thought it was uh, Saturn. My bad. Wow, that's even more obscure then. All right, let's get a heal. I'll quit it. Oh, nice. That fucked him up. You've only ever played Symphony of the Night? I mean, if, if there's any of them to play, that's the one, right? I personally like most of the Castlevanias I've played. I've played one, two, three. I beat them all. I liked them all quite a bit. I played four, but I never beat it. I have not played Bloodlines or Rondo. I played a lot of Symphony of the Night. And I played, I think, one of the DS Castlevanias, which was pretty cool. 
It was pretty cool, but I didn't beat it. It was this like this raven haired last named Shinoa was the main character. They play Bloodstain. Um, which Castlevania is that? I don't No, I didn't play that. I don't know which one that is. Ooh, treasure. Book of Delay. Hmm. I don't know what that does. Harmony of Dissonance. I really don't remember the name of it, Cuckoo. I just know the main character. Her, She had really long, black, wavy hair. Her name was Shinoa. Oh, oh, Bloodstained is that. Okay. No, I didn't play that. Okay, I know what that is. It's not a Castlevania game. It's just, like, made like one. Yeah, I didn't play that one yet. No, I don't know if I will. Causes the enemy speed to de decrease. Okay, that's kind of cool. All right, Alpha Battler. Take care. Order of Ecclesia Star Shinoa. Okay, that's the one I played then. I didn't beat it though. Aria of Sorrow. I think I own Aria of Sorrow. I just haven't play, uh, played it yet. That's a GBA one, right? I got one of them sitting over here. I just don't remember which one it is. These fights take a while in this game. So there's a way to speed this up. Aria Sorrow is GBA Symphony of the Night. Okay. Gotcha. Damn, those guys take way too long to kill. Okay, one down. You disliked Symphony of the Night when you liked the ones on the DS? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense to me either. It's my understanding they're all basically the same gameplay style. Do, do, do. Aria is GBA Castlevania and it's the best of the games for you. Gotcha. Yeah, I haven't played it. I keep getting Necronomicons. Very strange. You're supposed to be one. You know, and like Cthulhu or Lovecraftian lore or whatever. And they're just like consumables in this game. It's kind of odd. I think I went the wrong way. Dang it. This place. Maybe you played Symphony of Night when you weren't in the right mood for it. Were you trying to force it? Or was somebody pushing you to play it? Because I notice anytime you try to force a game or someone pushes you to play a game, you almost never fucking like it, no matter what it is. And I think that's just one of those like trust your instincts kind of things, you know, like you just play it when the mood is right or the time is right. Which is easier said than done when it comes to streaming. Holy shit. People could write books on that crap. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I got a lot of people to push me to play Undertale, but I never did. Like I didn't, I didn't do it because when people push me to play a game, it makes me want to play it less. So I just kept resisting until they stopped doing it. And then I eventually tried it on my own and I ended up not liking it. Okay, cool. 
You don't remember? You think you were just bouncing around some random games people have been suggesting but not pushed? Fair. You need an ad block where when people want to hype anything? <laughs> I will hype things sometimes if I'm excited about them, but I will not feel ashamed of that at all. I think it's fun to share things you're passionate about. What I don't like is when people try to impose that on someone else, right? Like if you're excited about something, that's one thing. That's great. Share that excitement, but don't try to force others into it. You know, that's a different story. That's just inconsiderate. That was Monster Hunter World for you, Sammy. You finished it up, but hated most of the gameplay. That gameplay was really repetitive for me in Monster Hunter World. I got bored of it pretty fast. Like a visually stunning game and like all the armor and weapons is really cool, but the gameplay was not that fun for me. It was just the same thing over and over and over again. It was basically like run up to the monster, hit it a bunch of times until you get hurt, then run away and heal and do that no matter what we were playing over and over and over again. And it's just, I don't know, it wasn't for me, that's all. I, mm, I would, I would say broski that you kind of shot yourself in the foot there. I don't think you should have expectations for a game you've never played. That's just how I do things though. I can't tell you what's going to work for you, but it sounds like you overhyped it yourself. Which is a turn-based Monster Hunter game? Stories. I've got that. Monster Hunter Stories. DS, I think, or 3DS? I haven't played it, though. Yeah, I was saying that earlier, Jeff. It looks like a Pokemon. Others were saying it looks like Digimon. Running after the monsters all the time? Yeah, that part's annoying, too. Like, you get him to a certain health, and then they run away for, like, 10 minutes. It's just like, oh, <laughs> just stick around already. Ugh. It just seems like an artificial inflation of gameplay time. I feel like I'm running in circles here. Well, here we go. This looks different. Stories one is 3DS. Okay, that's the one. You try not to, but sometimes you slide a little on it. That's relatable. That is relatable. I think I was that way with Octopath. Like I was ready to try it again. I was excited and it just didn't work. You've gotten a lot better after the lessons learned from Sekiro and others. Yeah. I think Sekiro is a good game. I just don't like it. You know, like I like the exploration in it. I thought that part was the its strong suit. Everything else kind of sucked. <laughs> it was just like, uh, I don't like the combat. Just did not, just did not enjoy the combat. Monster Hunter Stories 2 is so much fun. It's on PC as well. Oh, I didn't know I got PC releases as well. Yeah, yeah, Dark Cuckoo. That's a part of the reason why I didn't like it. Yeah, the grind. I don't like grinding games. Dun, 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 dun. You don't like Souls ass games, period. I love all the Souls born games. Every one of them. I'm a big fan. But I didn't like Sekiro. <laughs> it's not Souls born, though. I think a lot of people went into it with that mindset, like thinking it was going to be one. It's not. It's fun to watch others play them, but you won't. No, that's fair. I think there's plenty of games myself that I like watching people play, but I will never do myself. Do, do, do. Ow. Jerk. Wow, 34 is pretty good. It's 
It's not like Souls. No, I was talking about Sekiro. Souls is like modern Tenchu. Well, when it was first announced and people didn't know what it was, people thought Sekiro was going to be a new Tenchu. Like that was that was like the the prevailing theory is people thought they were finally making a Tenchu sequel. You like watching Thousand Arms but wouldn't play yourself? Do not blame you. <laughs> Uh, this game is kind of an oof. Oh my god. Okay. Let's go this way. Man. This game is funny, yeah. Uh, I need to get a save point. Oops, I gotta mark this off. There we go. Got to fight the Digimon. He's defending, or I guess he was. I don't know. Yeah, he was, wasn't he? Fuck. Yes. Stand by. How do I cancel that heal? I don't want to do it. All right, no. I guess we're doing it. Oh, well. I did the wrong person's heal. Well, we needed one anyway. I want to know how Sodina is taking damage. Oh, she's not. She's just leveling up. She's just leveling up. Uh, I don't know, Karma. That's a good question. Yeah, you get the funny bits from watching without the work to get to it, right? <laughs> That's basically what it boils down to. Okay. Oh, good. That's a safe point. Bam ba down ba down bam ba down ba down Mace German. Oh gear man, not German. I was gonna say that's a weird name. <laughs> <laughs> like what the hell you got against Germans for a thousand arms? What the fuck? <laughs> Oh my god, if there's save point mimics in this game, that's like the worst idea ever. Bam! You played Ephemeral Fantasia? Wow. I had people saying watching me play that made them want to play it. And I was like, why would you commit self-harm like that? I was like, that's just stupid. <laughs> Like, why would you do that to yourself? <sighs> like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm worried. I'm concerned for your health at this point. Something is wrong with your mental well-being that you actually would want to play that game. I don't care if you like it. I was just memeing. It is, however, the worst RPG I've ever played and one of the worst games I've ever played. Gluttons for punishment? I mean, maybe that was what, what it was, you know? Some kind of twisted self-flagellation. Hello? How do I use this thing? Do I just go in the menu? How do I use the save point? Oh, I have to talk to it. Okay. Okay. Do you like the fast travel animation? Oh, yeah. Like the in your face thing that they do. It always reminded me of Dragon Ball Z. 